supposed to do maybe wait trying, um man. well oh wait no that's wrong that's wrong wait hold pause guys uh -oh. Good. no it's still wrong oh my god leak, 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 leak. Uh, I oh think. no <laughs> we're getting there oh i forgot to do this I'm not gonna lie um wait what that's pretty good okay, okay let's try this again okay right ready um so I, 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 I wonder all right see you guys in five minutes no, I'm just Welcome back, everyone, to the favorite, your favorite HPG podcast. Oh my podcast. god, nerdy. Um, that was not scuffed at all. No one saw anything. That didn't look bad. It didn't sound bad. It was just perfect. Um, that was that was that went as perfectly as I could. So, welcome back, everyone. So we are here once again, and here's the deal. Okay, here is the deal. We have a wonderful podcast lined up for you all. Episode number five, I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty confident. Not not a hundred percent. And look at this. I'm not only am I back for another one, but I'm back in a reasonable time for another one. Like that's impressive. I, I should get some some credit for that. I think. But listen, here's the deal. You guys have absolutely no idea who could be on this podcast. There is no chat command, so we are just gonna get right into our first guest, which could be anything. Okay, wait. I had a good. So here's what we're gonna do this time. I think. Um. So this time, we are going to introduce our guests with the opening question rather than introducing a guest and then do, i that's just so we're just going to ask the opener question well and today's wait i had such a good one oh i remember what it was okay i didn't write it down for some reason because i'm dumb but anyways so today's opening question the question that we're all going to ask and i will start i will start but the question is if you could live if you had to live sorry i should probably say if you had to live in a Minecraft biome, what would you choose and why? And I think it's a very telling question. My answer, by the way, is going to be a mushroom island because I don't want to fight any zombies or anything. Um, that sounds bad. So that, that's, that's the uh, opening question. My camera's blurring. There's like four biomes and you went first. That is so bullshit. Huh? You stole my fucking answer. Oh well, Feinberg, think of something better. Just be better. Oh. Dude, no, it's, it's not Feinberg. He's not been revealed yet. We don't know who oh, it yeah, is. Oh, yeah, could be, it could random... be anyone. It could be anyone. BG yep face. Who it knows? Be, it could be literally anyone. Okay, I need to also make sure that I uncover that the right person. That wasn't full of me there. That was just an AI-generated voice. And I'm also an AI-generated voice, so... What? Exactly. And that wasn't 21 Mustard, you know. And, uh, that wasn't rad either, okay, but... This is, guys, guys, AI. be quiet. Be quiet. God damn it. Okay, anyways. Semi is typing on my account once again, so if you guys hear any, like... And if I say anything weird in chat, it's not me, alright? It's not me, just for the record. Um... Yeah, anyways, okay. But anyways, welcome back, everyone. So this time, first up, our first guest on the podcast here, or our first, I guess at this point, not really a guest, or a returning uh, figure. Um, we have the one, the only, um, the second best famous 21 person. Um, 21 Master, yeah. how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. Um, I literally, I don't have a very good answer, so I, I would just say, like, modified jungle edge. No, oh, you're, like, the rare stuff. I'd, I'd like live alone, because it's so rare. Would it, would it, do you think that, I think that land would probably be more per, like, square inch or whatever. Or, wait, no, no you could, like, set up a tourist destination. True. Yeah, yeah hot, I'd make bank, like kind of and I could make a yeah. little witch hut. You'd make yeah. a witch hut in a, in a modified jungle edge? Yeah, don't you need a swamp next to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd live in the witch hut. Nice. That's good. That's good to hear. I'm With the witch that. or would you kill the witch? With the witch. That's my okay. queen. <laughs> okay. Damn, bro. <laughs> Very good. All right. Next up, we have the person who has... Um, I, I don't even actually know how many N's in their name, but quite a few. And um, also who is... Um, who is con often confused with the more famous and better speedrunner, the Twitch staff, uh, DYLQN. Uh, -Y um, but this is, we don't unfortunately have that guest, but instead we have Dylan with four N's. So welcome Dylan with four N's. How are you doing? Uh, thanks for that introduction, Ernie. That yeah, was of great. Of course. Um, if I had to pick one biome, it'd, okay. be, it'd be one of the mountain biomes and I'd live on top of the, the grandest mountain. That's good. And I would look nice down on or, or what? On you. Huh? And I would look down on you. You look down on me in my mushroom mm -hmm. island? I mean, yep. 
That's, that sounds cool. Like a biome with, that's like near a mushroom island. You have a nice view of my beautiful land, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't be looking down on me, I wouldn't say. But you know. uh, I, I, I would I, have like skyscrapers probably on, I don't know. You know, uh, you'd probably just die and fall off the skyscraper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, anyways, getting into our next guest. We have the chat this time. I have prepared clip art. So definitely not just copying what I had last time. Welcome, 11 billion. How are you doing? I am doing well. Um, so my favorite biome in the game is Ice Spikes. Okay. Uh, I've always loved Ice Spikes. I think it just looks super sick, uh, even though it kind of fell off. Because, I, dude, I was so mad when they added a way to craft packed ice. And then they added a better ice as well. They added the stupid blue ice. I was always the guy with my friends playing on Minecraft realms. I was always the guy who would get the ice spikes biome and have a commodity commodity on all the packed ice for all the wow. boat roads and whatever. And then they totally nerfed it. But it's still a favorite biome deep in my heart. So that is where I would live. That's good. Would you do you do you like the cold? Would you be used to that? Uh I used to really like the cold. I don't like it so much anymore. Uh, I'm more of a spring guy, but okay. I can deal with it. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's good. Next up, we have literally the 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 man. Honestly, I would I would argue with this next individual, right? That all of us are basically indistinguishable from him, because. Um, None of us have sub threes, and he also does not have a sub three. Welcome, Feinberg. How are you doing? Where are you going with this? You're an asshole. How are you doing, Feinberg? That doesn't that's make any sense. Okay. Um, that's fine. I thought about it. I don't have a good answer because you stole my answer. Um, and my brain doesn't think that quickly under pressure. So I was gonna minutes. say like Mesa because there's a lot of gold. All you gotta do is get like one carrot from a zombie and then that's golden carrots for life, bro. Ooh. Mesa also just looks cool. It's got these little savages. Look at them. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Um, so probably Mesa. However, how much do you think you've like, I don't know, how much do you think you've held, like how much of your day do you think you've been holding that spider in the past? If you're not holding a mouse, Today, you're not sleeping. Today, it's been, I've just been like playing around with it. Well, I was playing Rocket League for a little bit and both hands on the controller, you know? You gotta right, like, fuck up for the dub. Um, but if I'm watching a YouTube video, this shit is so fluffy, bro. It's actually crazy. You like it more than? I'm is like that your favorite four one? Four years old, actually. I don't know. It's I just like nice because see... it's like flat. I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah. That makes sense. Next up, we have the man who put all his marbles, or I don't know what the word is. He put all. He put sacrificed so much to be here. The absolute legend. The, uh, the the person that you definitely did not hear earlier in talking. Hold on, what's up? How you doing? Hello. You're right. Uh, I'm good. Uh, biome. Uh, I'd probably be like Minecraft Beach, because then I can't get the no bitches thing by just saying something about the name sounding similar. Uh, I don't know. That's the best I can come up with. You haven't really given us much time. Uh, also, Mushroom Island was taken. I'm like the only one that here that lives on an island apart from maybe Pod as well. I mean, someone else who maybe later on. Sorry, fuck. Uh, uh, move on. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> de definitely not leaking anything. Sorry. No, no, no. You didn't leak anything. I didn't hear anything. No one heard anything. But um, mm -hmm. no, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. How is mm -hmm. uh, how is uh, how is everything? Did you are you done with school form? No, nowhere near. No, nowhere fuck near. You. Oh wait, wait, hold up. Do you not end in the summer? I mean. Yeah, it does. Is May the summer to you? Okay, everyone around US, me is yeah. ending. I have like another month, and everyone's making fun of me for dating oh. late. So I'm just asking. Okay, asking. yeah, I have. I think it's five weeks for me. So. Five weeks. Okay, okay. I'm like three weeks, so that's fair. I see. You're like normal, like me. God, everyone else is just fucking weird. Okay. Anyways, next up we have the one, the only Rad. What's up? How you doing, Rad? Hi. <laughs> okay, so the answer. biome I would pick. I'm gonna pick river biome because okay. then I could ride my boat up and down and be like, wee! And a, that's a valid I could, take. I, I respect that. And I could dig clay and go like, oh look, diamonds, it's pog. True. So I'll be rich. 
There we go. That's Those my, are good that's my answer. <laughs> Those are some good. I went. I once went river rafting. I think. Um, it was river good. I enjoyed it. Wait, what rafting. you think? Well, I I don't know if that's the right word. Did you river rafting is like just a bigger version of a fucking lazy river at a water park? Yes, white water yes. Rafting is the real shit. Wait, what is it? White water. White water. White, white water. Like that's what it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? River you rafting. Do I've done white water. Rafting. I don't know, man. You're just balling out on an inner tube, but white water rafting is like if you don't hold on, it's over, man. You know. I did white water rafting, but it was on a little baby river, so it was like kind yeah, of okay. It depends. Some rivers, they're not all equal, you know. Some rivers. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. The water goes one way. Some rivers, the water goes the other way. <laughs> that's Damn, bro, that's Thank insightful. You. No, that's no, no wow. way. Thank we you so put much. Put it like that. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. Oh my god. Holy fuck. All right, yeah. and our next guest here uh, is a first time on the podcast. And shout outs to this individual for making it. I think that they may have uh like canceled uh a morning work shift or something to be here so anyways i appreciate it pod hello what's up welcome hey how's it going how, how are you doing oh. pod what, what biome are we choosing i'm doing pretty good um biome i was gonna choose mesa as well because that's just like it's australia mm -hmm. that but if i install that so now i have to think it's like more creative but that's hard so I'm just going to say Wooded Mesa Plateau. Okay. Oh, hey, there you go. That's another one. I mean, that's that's a very specific one, but yeah, that's good. Well, what what draws you to the what draws you to the land of the uh, Wooded Mesa Plateau? It, it it basically be living in like it like living in Australia still, so no change. <laughs> okay, fair fair. That's valid. I mean, how hot <laughs> is it there right now, Pod? It's cold. It's cold. Okay. So it's, it's, it's winter, yes, though. Wait, how how hot does it get in the summers? Oh, wait, I have to um, I have to translate this. Hold up. Give me a second. Like, it gets like 40 degrees here. 40 like degrees, a bit over, yeah, which is basically 100 is. Fahrenheit. Wait. Hold on. Wait, Nerdy, what? Don't they use Celsius in Canada? Why do you have to transfer it? Dude, I, I don't know what... Dude, I found you. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not introduced. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> um, and I guess with that... Oh, God. Unfortunately, I... Chat, you have to... You guys have to understand... I listen. I accept. A, I accept bribes. Okay. At the end of the day, you know, I'm a college student. You know, I, I, you know, I need to, you know, pay for the YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? And I know you guys hate this individual being here, and I'm sorry, but it's like, it's like, you know, the little sponsor in the bottom. It's, you know, it's like when Feinberg accepted like the method thing in the top right of his streams. You know, and it was like kind of annoying. It was there, but like, what? you know, the best business decision I've made in my entire life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like now he, now he makes like a bunch of money. It, it, it's a business decision. It's, it's unlucky for the time being, but it's a long-term business investment. And um and yeah, that's what I. So I got, I got a, a very nice paycheck for this one in inviting this guest. So. I guess he's gonna have to be with us today. It's Poundcake. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. I feel very uh, fortunate to. Uh, okay, to be <laughs> that's here. not even good. Uh, that's not even good. That didn't even make any sense. That didn't even make any sense. If joke... you go to next to uh, Poundy and Nerdy One V One a little bit ago and Poundy One Four O, so it's like four o chinet. Thank you. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, so I, I like joke. Yeah, Pound basically beat Nerdy four games. He won four games, but Nerdy only won zero. So. Yeah, he only won zero. Wait, hold on. No, I totally get like... it. Do it Thank you. Okay, now I get it. We get it. Yeah. Well, yeah. four sounds like fortunate, so. Yeah. So no, like that's oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I I still don't um, get it. That's okay. You're slow. Uh. So <laughs> my um, I would probably choose uh, uh dripstone caves because you know I got that drip. The worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my days. Uh, so you know that's it's that's my answer. Biome. It is. I googled Minecraft biomes. <laughs> it's uh here. I think it was dripstone. Wait. Yeah. They sure were added. <laughs> they were added in. Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably one point eighteen or something. They're like the little like things like the stalagmites that come out of the ground. The like I, I, I believe you. You did a good two thing. in one. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only one who did research for this, so uh, no That's one else good. needed. The rest of us knew it was a bio. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't play the game. Okay, what do you want? We can tell. Ah yeah. oh, man. Okay. Well, 
Uh, now that we've got these peasants out of the way, we have the real guest, the real person I've wanted on this podcast for, oh, man, I've, I've invited him multiple times, and he made it, so I'm so excited to have the real genius. I can actually have a normal conversation. T-Wax, how are you doing? I'm uh, great. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Um, how are you? How are you, nerdy? I'm I'm doing pretty good. You know, I had a weird weird day today, but it's been it's been a good day overall. It's been a good day overall, and I'm just I'm just happy. T Wags, my question: What biome would you choose? Well, you know, put some thought into it. Of course, a little wacky, a little different strategy wise. You okay. Know how I okay. Do. Uh, the end highlands. Okay? okay. There are five biomes in the end. Some okay. of you may not know that. The end highlands is the only one that can spawn end cities, bro. I'm chilling out with chorus fruit. That is, dude, chorus fruit's delicious. You already know. It's got high water content. I'm chilling with vitamins. You know chorus fruit's where it's at. I get enchanted gear. You flying around. You don't have to deal with people. It's just Enderman chilling. Mm -hmm. I have, I'm telling you. Okay, you're, uh, wait, wait, what kind of science do you do? You're a scientist, right? Yeah, I do chemistry and physics mainly. Okay, okay. I guess, I think this question, okay. Here's my question. You know, this is something I've thought about a lot, actually, in, in life. But, you know, theoretically speaking, if teleportation was a thing, right? Like, hear me out. Okay? And and uh, however it worked, I mean, I guess it depending on how it worked, do you think, and it, like, because, like, the way I imagine it is, like, you would sort of, like, it would be like a clone copy of yourself, right? That it would, it would, it would your, 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 the atoms or whatever in your body would just, t- it would clone somewhere else, right? And so my question is, do you think, though, if you ate that chorus fruit, that you would get a clone of yourself and it would be existing and it wouldn't know it, it was different, but that your existence would cease to exist in that moment. And that you would yeah, just have no, a that, different... That... Yeah, that's my no, question. No, it's true. There's been some movies about that. Um, I forget the name of the good one. But no, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Teleportation's dope. Quantum teleportation actually, actually exists already. Yeah. Hold on, don't, don't do the talking, bro. I don't, I don't... <laughs> uh, no, I'm how not. There... No, I'm asking how you as not... a scientist here. How is there not an emote that's nerdy explaining how? And it's just you doing exactly there, what you're there doing. Is, I, have nerdy, I have nerdy. Is it not on this channel? Nerdy, nerdy explaining how has to be. No, that's right. There is the first sub emote. Yeah. Nerdy, like, uh, nerdy. Can I ask oh, you a okay. question based off of your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if teleportation was real. Yeah. And there was a teleporting, like, movable, like, toilet business, would it be called teleporta potty? That, that one wasn't bad. That one, I, I, that one was, that one was okay. Thank you. I should, I don't, I maybe you should work. Maybe you should, should work in marketing. Okay. Is the joke just that I port okay. and port? Is that the only joke there? What teleport a potty? Is like, just teleport? the port and port. There's no more to it. <laughs> That's it. I thought I was, I was hoping for more here, Pound Cake. I don't oh, know. Guys, Your parents is, were hoping for very, more out of you, event. right? Like, what, what is this? Okay. This is okay. a significant event in HPG podcast history. For the first time ever, we are actually removing someone midway through the podcast. <laughs> I agree. That's a good take. That's a good take. Okay. Um, okay, wait. I had, like, one more thing I wanted to say before we went into this. Oh, yeah, I remember. Pod, I have one final question for you before we go into this. Yeah. Okay. My question is... Okay, so... Why is it that a pod can be on a podcast, yeah, I... but that a cast cannot no, be on a pod or a cast pod? Actually, no, motherfucker. Mods permit me right now. No. I so, fuck pancake, you. Sorry. Pancake, the question was for me, no, no, not for you. Pancake, I need to hear the answer. You're interrupting. This is very rude. Yeah. Uh, well, you see, pod comes first, and. <laughs> I, I don't, and and cast comes second, so that's basically all I have. <laughs> Is that not enough reasoning? No, that's fair. I so so the truth of this um the 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 truth of this screenshot, by the way, is that um. Pound Cake oh thought my joke was really funny, and he thought that he'd forge screen. I told him the joke beforehand, and he thought he'd forge um he'd forge my 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 uh my messages to him and and make it look like it was his. His idea, because he he because he. Pancake... I will ruin your entire layout right now to share my screen and prove you wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll ruin the podcast. No, it's good. It's good. We don't need to do that. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so welcome back, everyone. I hope this has been this has been a scuffed twenty four minutes of this podcast, but it's been a good twenty four minutes of this podcast. Um, and so we are going to get into our first question here, and I guess whoever can take the floor here. Um, I want to start with with I want to start with a school related question. So 
I, okay, so I just want to say something real quick. So I was under the impression, right, that all of these lovely individuals only wanted to talk about Minecraft-related stuff. And that I was the one pushing for the non-Minecraft. I thought it was like a negotiating. But apparently, this entire time, all of them didn't like talking about the Minecraft stuff. And they wanted to talk about the more, ab like, uh, more abstract stuff. So I just had no idea. But apparently that's a thing. Minecraft's boring. <laughs> we literally do it like 24-7. We want to do I something. I hate more Minecraft. Yeah, Life shit, topics equals yeah. abstract law. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, yeah, it's kind of abstract to have a life in the MCSR community, not <laughs> Exactly, I mean, come on. Whatever. Hey, Anyways, Nelly, what's the question? Go. So, our first question here. Our first question, we're going to start with a more IRL question. And we're going to have mostly those today. Anyways, that's all I'm trying to say. But, my question is, what is the best class that you ever took in high school? Best subject, best class, and no, Feinberg, lunch is not an option. Anyways, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I used to have a shirt. I used to have a shirt that I made in art class, and it said "lunch is my favorite subject." Like yeah. literally, in an art class. It was a project. <laughs> oh, that's actually so funny. Oh, oh. I just unlocked Feinberg. I actually just unlocked him. I'm thinking. I took so many <laughs> classes. Like I'm such a good scholar. I have to think. Okay, okay. I I will I will start. I will start. I think it's hard for me. I'm between two classes. For me, my two favorite classes in high school were one, um, my calculus in my junior year, my calculus one class, very good class, or I guess it was calculus AB. So I think that's like 1.5 or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, I really enjoyed that class. I love calculus still. And the teacher was fantastic and I signed no homework. I, I, I hate homework. Fuck homework. Um, it was like just tests and it was very good. Um, so I liked that one. And then the other class I liked was actually very different. I normally hate literature. Like I just find it very boring and like reading, I'm just not good at. Um, but this class specifically, we had like really interesting content and the teacher was just incredible. Um, and yeah, so my uh, AP literature class was probably my second favorite class or maybe first. I don't know. I switched between which is my favorite. Um, but yeah, that's my answer. Go ahead. Anyone that wants to go jump in, whoever, anyone, Mine... anyone? was a digital photography class I took my senior year. That was fun because um, I actually learned things. And we had to, like, do a certain amount of pictures per week based on, like, concepts, like the concepts we were learning, like, to accentuate that concept. And I remember <laughs> one week, I totally forgot it until I, like, woke up the day on it. And they, like, they gave us cameras, like, to rent out on school or, like, at school so we could, like, take shit – um, just around. I totally forgot till the morning off, so I had no time to actually do it. So I ripped these like photos that I took on vacation, like the summer previous or whatever, and made up some bullshit ass excuse that like we had to go to like a family wedding in Texas or some shit. Like I don't remember what it was, and it didn't make any sense either because the photos I picked, one of them was like a fucking desert ass wasteland badlands looking shit and the other one was like this green ass like lake river so it just would never you wouldn't be in the same like geographical location <laughs> at all and it was wait bullshit too because it was like who goes to texas over a weekend in like march <laughs> so yeah it was fun I, I she might have known it was cool to learn about photography stuff though and the cameras that they juiced us out with were crazy that's good that's um, good they gave us for like the semester nice okay who wants to go next anyone can jump in all right. I had a um, vocational school that I went to at the end of my high school. Okay. And so it was a 3D modeling uh, vocational. Mm, and basically, cool. um, the teacher had a, a VR headset as well. And I'm a VR nut. So I was just like helping him with that stuff. And the modeling was super easy because I did that shit too. But it was fun because it was stuff I was interested in. Nice. And it was just a cool place to hang out. And I made some friends there. Meow. All right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, no, that's a good answer. I think any class where you're actually like interested in it, like outside, sort of like you would want to do the work if it wasn't for the class. That's always a good thing. I don't know if that's what you mean exactly, but that's a good sign of a class. I've got, I've yeah. got a right. decent answer. Go, go. <laughs> I've, I've probably taken way more classes than it. <laughs> I've got through high school, bachelor's, I've done a grad program. So, um, like, how fun classes has, like, 
almost nothing to do with the subject. It's all about the teacher. I, My geography amen. teacher in high school was so dope, dude. He would just go country by country and tell us how he visited there and how the people are. And this one sucks. And this one's great. It was dope. Um, I don't care about geography at all, but like now I do because my teacher is good. Um, in college, by far the best class, like a hundred times better than any other class I took was Psych 101, which has nothing to do with my field. But uh, the teacher was incredible. He came in and he's like, all right, we're not going to talk about like the different sections of the brain and all that garbage. Like it's boring. Here is how you be happy in life. Here are the top three things yeah. that one gender finds the most attractive in the other gender. So you know how to like live your life that way. Like if you want to change your major one year into college, like statistically you will be in slightly this much more debt because like your college wow. life will be a little bit longer, but you will be like five times happier five years after college. Cause like you found the right path. And it was like all these statistics about like real life stuff. It was incredible. So all the like science and math classes I took, like, you have to learn that stuff to like be successful in life and be happy in your field, of course, but just not as exciting. Like you can't have a really good teacher and they can teach you anything. So you, yeah, do you, do you, would you say that you like remember slash apply what you learned in your, in that college class, like on a regular basis, or do you not really remember it that yeah. well? No, I think about that stuff like subconsciously all the time. Like every couple of months or so I'll be like, Oh, I just like made that decision to go hang out with a friend today because of like what I subconsciously remembered like a long time ago. One of the things we learned was like uh, they ranked people on their uh, amount of social hours they got uh, in a week and asked them like how happy they were. And there was a direct linear correlation <laughs> between the more social hours people logged and how Damn. happy they considered themselves. And oh. so uh, that changed my viewpoint at the end of college, I was like, man, I, I just shut myself in and play video games every day. I gotta, yeah, I gotta get out there and talk to people. <laughs> I joined like a club. I was way happier, dude. I met a bunch of people. Um, I just burst out of my shell, like socially and figured stuff out. And it was, it was a huge help. So. Wow. That's did, uh, fantastic. Yeah. did you guys, did you guys talk about like Freud at all in that psych class? I mean, maybe a bit. Are you getting into joke pound? I feel like <laughs> no, I, just, I was just joke. genuinely curious. Like what you think about. I just want to know what you think. Okay, about we're see. This is what I was talking about yeah. earlier. I was like, I have someone that I feel like is gonna be fantastic to talk to, and then just right <laughs> next to him is like, God damn it! Why did I bring this guy on? It's really pancake is like negative say? social hours when I, <laughs> yeah, when exactly. I talk exactly. to Poundcake, I am just less happy, and it's a linear dependence. God damn it! That's valid, actually. <laughs> That's nuts. That's valid. Okay. Anyways, nice um, I think that, Fulham you? wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speedy answer. My least favorite class I've ever taken is uh, I'm I'm adding least as well. That's fair. T wags like it, it's the thing that T wag does all the time. I absolutely despise semiconductor materials. I do not understand <laughs> it. It makes no They're sense. Very hard. Yeah. It, just random N's and P's at random points, BJT's, JFETs, MOSFETs, all these random letters BJT. put together. It sounds, like, it sounds like I'm <laughs> trying to read out MCSR news, except I'm using letters that I've never seen before. Um, and my favorite is probably stats, because I really like stats in general. Like, I feel like that's the sort of shit that I want to do, like, outside of school. So, yeah, that's kind of fun. Basic shit. All right, cool. Oh, wait, I hate wait, stats. Wait, wait, I just want to ask. Wait, wait, wait. This class. Wait, what is it? Um, what is um, this class that you're struggling with? Like, what? Wait, what is it specifically? Semiconductor materials. Semiconductor devices. Oh, what? So what is that? What is that? What? 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 Like, what is that? Like, what in the well, broader? No, field if I that? could tell you what it is, then I would be able to do the class. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I have an exam in three weeks, and I can't even describe what the class is to you. Oh, okay. that's good. No, that's good. That's not good. in a good ideal. place right now, Daddy. We don't need to talk about <laughs> I'm this. Sorry, I didn't mean to stretch podcast. you out. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. Any other time, okay. <laughs> no, like it's uh, it's very like detailed as to how certain devices work. You understand what a semiconductor is. You understand what mm -hmm. a device is. It's how they work, okay. basically. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um, all right. I think uh, Rad wanted to go next. What? Did Rad want to go next, or were you just commenting Mustard. on Mustard. Mustard. I think I already went. I already went. Oh yeah, you did already go. I'm dumb. I okay, whatever. Good hosting. Great hosting. <laughs> yeah, Mustard. Yeah. Um, what do we got? Okay, well, 
basically throughout high school, like I had this one teacher, like who was just like the best teacher ever. Um, so like I took like three or four of his courses just throughout. Um, like he started off as like my grade nine science teacher, but like eventually I joined his like he was like, oh, you guys should join like my tech uh, course or whatever. So uh, through like grade eleven and twelve, I learned like different tech shit, just like uh, software and hardware and like coding and cryptocurrency taught. Um, but he was really cool and like he always talked to us about like uh, relevant games, relevant like tech, like Xbox, what they're doing, new CPUs that are coming out. And he had that he had a YouTube channel and he's literally I just checked his YouTube channel. He just does like Dota and he's just been uploading every regularly, not every day. Oh for, yeah. Like, two years, three years. He has twenty K subs just doing nice. Dota. Like how cool is that? Damn, that's, that's sick, nice. Dude. That's sick. He was just the coolest. And Oh uh, Pat, yeah. I was looking at that one. That's so cool. I'm sorry to but think it was, like, <laughs> kind of expensive. No, I was looking at the I should get it. Odds are hella rich though. It makes like a million a year. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so who who's next? Who's next? Whoever wants to go. Um, I'll go. go. Okay. okay. I, in high school, I had this one teacher, and she was super chill, and she taught... I don't even know what the class was, but we did, like, Photoshop, animation, like, every Adobe program, like, ever. So I learned actual skills, and I sat next to my brother, who was, like, two grades younger than me, because I was a senior and he was a sophomore. So that was, like, weird, um, but, like, kind of cool at the same time. And we figured out how to, like hack into people's computers so like the teacher would have this remote access like program so we could so she could keep tabs on everybody to make sure like people weren't dicking around so i don't know how exactly we figured it out i forget most of it but we knew everybody's usernames because it was like public info and the passwords were like first name last name and like three digits or something and like you could watch people log in and, like figure it out and we would figure out how to like look at people's screens and we would just like tab in for a second and like do something or like like type in like search something on their computer oh my gosh we just troll people all day it was so much <laughs> fun that was that was my favorite class by by a large margin and i would play <laughs> tetris all the time oh yeah class. wait like tetris friends or just like no nah, tetris without friends just one of the browser yeah, ones that that checks out yeah. yeah thanks it, it was polite of you to ask the, the... Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i was hopeful <laughs> but uh i can go next i had so I think high school senior level physics, I was terrible at it, but I I just like the teacher was just kind of like this like middle aged man who just didn't give a fuck anymore because he kind of like had like they couldn't replace him. He was by far overqualified for the position, so he could just do whatever he wanted. Uh, So he kind of just like roasted all of his students the whole time. And <laughs> I like half failed the class, but then I would bring him treats every day uh, from a family member's like treat shop and then i swear to god that had like a positive like 20 percent effect yeah, on probably. my grade and i ended up getting i think i got like a b plus i don't i don't remember a single thing i didn't learn a single thing from that class oh, there yeah. was one time where uh he fucked up like a basic like he was adding two angles together he fucked it up and i corrected him and then he didn't realize that i was right so he made fun of me for getting it wrong in his mind and then he sent out an email immediately after to every single physics class physics student in the school and was like hey everyone laugh at raj for getting this addition problem wrong and then he corrected it and then still blamed me for getting it wrong so i um <laughs> ended up calling okay. him out on our, at our graduation speech uh, where he then threatened to lower my grade after i graduated Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so it was a, it was a big old thing, but he was really chill. It was just a fun class. Sounds I didn't like a bad that was your favorite. No, he was chill. He was chill. Publicly shaming. Uh, <laughs> he did not sound chill. <laughs> I'm just joking. It worked out though. Uh, it just it made me realize I didn't want to go in physics, so it worked out. Whoever wants to go so to this? <laughs> oh, do you have an eleven? That was from like the eighties when you went when you went to college. Uh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even go to college. I didn't even go to university or anything. I just did like um, some like basic level things afterwards. Because when I left school, um, I left it to play video games. <laughs> um, I played Call of Duty for a few years. Um, I had that I sorted my life out after that. <laughs> um, but my school was boring, dude. Like I didn't have I fucking the classes. Like I can only remember are like. The some of the PC lab classes where we just halfway through the lesson, everyone would just be playing Halo LAN, um, <laughs> in the middle of class, and yeah, or like doing music and stuff like that because it was the biggest bludge. Like you just didn't actually 
have to do anything so yeah that's that's valid i mean do you have a least favorite class you remember or just all kind of um, no i don't have a least favorite like i always got like decent marks in classes and stuff like that mm-hmm. but yeah english was probably my least favorite class to be honest okay, fair. um but that's just because it's boring so yeah no i mean that generally english <laughs> my least favorite too um okay did, wait did anybody else ever have minecraft land parties at their like during class yes yeah you did yes. not during class Back during, during class school. during class during yeah middle during school class. i brought my mouse i brought this thing to class one time and i was just tro- i was just shitting on everybody we were pvping oh my gosh i felt like the coolest <laughs> kid in the class <laughs> i went to boarding high school everyone knows this um what? They would shut up our internet at three in the morning on weekends so one night we after the internet shut off took all of like our laptops and plugged all of our ethernet cables into the same ethernet box and like local land in our room because we just didn't want to go to bed or something we put like skyblock or something That's, it was yeah. like i remember it being a lot harder than just like plugging all the ethernet into the same box like we had to do some bullshit because there was like no internet it was weird i don't know but that was my land we never did them during no. class oh i did have a cs class in sophomore year the teacher was just so oblivious he had to have known bro there's just no way we regularly <laughs> would play no computer science sophomore year. regularly would play rocket league with my roommate in class like we'd bring <laughs> controllers and just play and this dude had like a razor laptop it was so loud with the fans <laughs> he never told us to stop we literally <laughs> we brought our controllers and we'd play rocket league the whole time and we were like in the back of the class he would never walk around either he would sit up like on the projector the entire class never walk around and it was like the most basic like html stuff so like it took us like two minutes to do it out of like the 40 minutes in the class because we like used a computer before and then when the new pokemon games came out and we were doing like arduino stuff i was just playing pokemon moon like on the table and he just didn't care like (laughs) i'd roll up to like check that my like green led was like blinking correctly and i'd be in like a trainer battle and this dude wouldn't say shit like (laughs) i just left it i didn't even make any attempt to close it he was, I guess, a chill teacher. I guess that was a, a good class or whatever. There's in a in a similar vein. Um, there's a kid in my college who went viral because he was sitting in front of the very like one of the hardest engineering classes in our college, and he was playing six different instances of Pokemon on his goddamn gaming laptop in the very front of the row while they're talking about like quantum physics in the front, and it's like one controller for all six, and the fan was just going like fucking ultra loud, and he was just v- violently tapping the whole time. It was crazy. He Do you have the video? I want to see this. Yeah. Uh, I remember a picture and then a story. I'll see if I can find the video. That's fine if you can. No worries. That's um, so smart, Nerdy. Giving Pancake a toss so that way he doesn't annoy the <laughs> Hey, I'm glad you think the way I think. <laughs> You're fine. Um, uh, no, nah, but... Um, okay, I think Eleventy is the only one that's not gone. Yeah. So, you did say high school class, but I'm just gonna... Did I, say high school? I swear I did not say high school high class. School, I, yeah, you, you did. High school, yeah. Oh, my bad. Yes, you literally did. I did not but, mean to. You just, uh, you, I just mean ca- class in general. Okay. Well, I'm going for college. I My favorite class was statics, not statistics. Everybody gets confused. Statics, because it was oh. like the first actual engineering class. Um, Funny thing about that class, though, Feinberg, you, you might remember, because we talked about this in call. I was like, man, this professor just gave us a two-question exam. And the vast majority of the class didn't even finish it. I, dude, yeah. And you were like, oh, yeah, he's probably going to curve it. No, he didn't curve it. Um, it That professor was so unbelievably difficult. Uh, I got a 67 in the class, which is like my worst grade ever. And that's that's failing for for major related courses. You have to get higher than a 70 so i had to retake it but i actually even though it was so difficult i really liked the class so because the professor he was really hard but he was actually really really good at teaching so interesting that sounds crazy but hey good job good good on you for uh doing well after at the end of the day sounds like if you retook it and did well good job that's that's that sounds like very hard 
Um, all right. Well, I guess we'll go on to the next question, unless anyone has any last things to say. Um, and the next question is. I did hmm. find the video, by the way. I can send it to you later. We can watch it at the end, maybe, if I remember. Well, I'll just, you can post yeah, it in chat, too. Um, let's see here. Which one should we go with? I'm going to do... Um, let's go with this one. <clears throat> what? And this doesn't have to necessarily be something that just one person answers. Or sorry, every person like individually answers. This is more of like a discussion-based question. Um... So you don't need to like go around or whatever. But what do you all think is a common myth about streaming that people don't know about? I guess I'll start. Uh, since I, I'm just like throwing that on you. That's kind of a hard question. I would say, in my opinion, the most common myth is that, um, I mean, this is kind of boring, but it's that, you know, people think it's sort of all luck, I guess would be the quickest thing. Um, and that I think that there is definitely elements of luck but i would say i always like the comparison because all you guys in chat probably know that I, I like the comparison of calling it like trying to get world like blowing up or whatever it's like trying to like get world record in the sense that um you know you 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 do need luck um but you you also cannot just like win the lottery and just get it and that's it's not just luck it takes a lot of other things as well so that's what i would say is the most common myth but if you guys have anything to add or if you disagree go ahead start a lot of people think of affiliate matters. They get like so yeah. pressed about like the three average and the fifty followers. Like no one cares. It just means that yeah, you are you forced to, money, right? It just means that you're forced to get a pre roll when people click on your stream and less people are gonna watch. That's literally what it means. Yeah, yeah if you someone... care about growth, don't like be an affiliate until you're I don't know, until you're like ten average, basically. But if you're if you're pushing the three average to get to hundred dollars or whatever. Yeah, but like that was the reason I started streaming. Like I no, started I streaming it, yeah. with this free money glitch. Like, wow, I have Prime. Lauren has Prime. My mom has Prime. My like three of my friends have Prime. That's like you know like fucking eighteen dollars a month in like four months time. I get a hundred dollars for free for doing nothing Fair. apart from clicking go live like once every so often, and then you know then you know everything else happened. But like, if you fuck around and want to do live. Stream, Streaming to get free like infinite money glitch then go for it like just try and <laughs> advertise yourself on twitter so that people can get you to three viewers like so in my eyes affiliate should not be difficult for anyone in the mcsr community basically like there are enough of us to, for three people to lurk in your channel um but if you actually care any more about streaming than just making like ten dollars a month because you have some friends then if you care any more than that, then definitely listen to Feinberg and like don't really t like don't stress about affiliate. Like try and grow for a reason if you care. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess I you emotes, but then like you have to you'd have to pay someone for emotes. I guess if it's your hobby, then you have the money to do that. I guess. Yeah. No one cares yeah, about channel points at all. Like actually using them doesn't help at all. In my opinion, like very little, like because you like suck, you have like no rewards. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't you matter. Had anything. That's my, that's my <laughs> point. My point well, is that it doesn't. If you matter. had them, well, if you have good ones, <laughs> yeah, I think they that definitely helps. Like that's what I bribed uh, mime yeah. monetarily to raid me and stuff when I when I when I wanted affiliate, and then from that like for like three to like eight average viewer things, I think <laughs> a lot of people like were. Because I had a bunch of, like, those stupid fucking channel point rewards that are, like, really annoying, but your chat... Hydrate. Or... Yeah, those fucking... <laughs> hydrate, hydrate bro. I still, I still have the stupid oh, fucking hydrate. 10 push-ups one that I'm just too lazy to remove. Um, but it's, oh, like, dude, I think, I I think if that. you have interactive ones that, like, shame the streamer and, like, make him, like, embarrass him or do shit like that, I think... I think, I think the difference here that. is that the, the enjoyment that people get from a pound cake stream is just... You know, it's it's, it's just a different kind of content. <laughs> yeah, that's you fair. Know? That's fair. I guess channel points matter less when the viewer numbers go up, and I don't, I don't, yeah. I didn't yeah. see it myself as a good way to break through the barrier of like two to three digit. 
I don't. I agree with fine. I agree with Feinberg on this one for the record. But it's. Yeah. I guess it's okay content. Like it's. I mean, it's it can totally be better than nothing. But it, no, like, no, it can gonna, be. Good. It's not gonna blow your stream up. I. Th I think they're annoying, when like. They they have to be done like very very sparingly well. Like I think Curry's somewhat old channel point redemptions were cool it was like 50k for like a strat tutorial for a few minutes or like practice for a few minutes i think that was cool um bro like, steal it man. i have like a hundred thousand channel no, points in your channel no like, i can't my use economy's them my economy's fucked <laughs> it's fucked i can't people have been holding the bag for years Fallen. what am i supposed to do <laughs> like it's over <laughs> Just let them all spend. You, like, you had a southern thorn. There was nothing to do for most of the time. You could have thought of something to, like, do nothing. during the time. Even it's when you were sleeping. Days. There's no four-digit streamer viewer that has any worthwhile channel points. 95% of them. I shouldn't say none, because you could probably find me an example. It just doesn't happen. Because it's bad content. To force yourself to do anything because one person hit a button and uh, subject everyone else it's like shit for bigger streamers it's okay if you're smaller and if you build like hype content around it but it's not good the bigger you go that's just my opinion i like my vip tickets i'm just gonna say that that's the only thing but that's not really because of the um that's not really because of the um uh like those you can go through so quickly it doesn't even change the stream i just like it doesn't even do anything like i i'm still resetting so it doesn't so i like it i don't know but there's the VA. They come in. I don't know. I, That's just my opinion, though. I, but if you I do think, stuff, you have to interact uh, with. Oh! Hey, cameo! Semi-cameo. Semi. You you can just ask. There, yeah. <laughs> semi, you, someone redeemed a semi-cameo. Fuck. Oh, someone. Yeah, someone. Who could it have been? Sitting on the chair. Yeah, Lulus. it was a different chair. <laughs> Semi's here. Not the broken one. You can say as long as you want. Hog. So I'm like, can yeah. you talk about how Nerdy almost killed you before the stream? Oh, yeah. Okay, so he sets this chair down, right? <laughs> and he says, then I sit on the chair for the podcast. And I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm watching Purdue World Wired. And he was like, so I sit on the chair for the podcast. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. So I get up to go sit on the chair, right? We're following. I get up to go sit on the chair because he asked me to sit on the chair. It breaks the second I sit down. Splits straight in half. And you know what? I got splinters all over my legs now. What? Wait, you didn't. You said you didn't have splinters. Look, I don't trust men. Do you need help? Are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> Do you need like tweezers yeah, or something? Yeah. I'm fine. I messed up. Kind of mean. Oh my god. Nerdy, did you Damn, nerdy. that? Your fault, what the hell? Actually. Um, no, I'm scared. It was not a setup. I'm boycotting nerdy. this podcast. Nerdy, I think to make up for it, you should leave the podcast and the rest of it. Yeah, the true. Show. Somebody want to take over? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, wait. Actually, though, somebody had a somebody had a question for you all. Oh yeah, it was kind of a joke. But it's not now, a joke. I, now I just want to like wreck his self-esteem. Ah, oh, god damn it! I don't like that. I don't That's fine. Like I don't have any left anyway. Go what for is, it. What is, yeah, I, what I is Nerdy's most roastable trait? That's not related to Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, not. Oh, related. Nerdy's most roastable trait. Oh, it's oh definitely there's his so Minecraft many. It's yeah. so easy. Yeah, it's his yeah. maybe. His racing skill. Uh, is there Minecraft related? Doing this he specifically said not related to Minecraft. Oh, people, people talk. People are talking. Yes, the people I mean, talking. I don't think it's roastable. Yeah. I think it's you funny. Know what? No, I, I think it's very roastable. Yeah, it is funny. I, li I like. It's I also like the roastable. Stuff. Sometimes it's quite sweet. Like when you come in, like all passionate about fractals, because you watch like a two-minute video about it, and then it makes yeah. you go, "But they're so cool, dude!" No, but like seriously, because then like you zoom in, and then there's another one, and it's like, like it's it's quite <laughs> yeah. cute, and it's like, oh, look at him, little little squidgy, scrunkly fella caring about like a math topic like that's quite cute but 99% of the time you're talking about like how aliens actually have invented all okay. electrical products i have no never one conspiratorial i've never once been cons i'm the least conspiracy i'm the most fact driven person that i know i do not go off any yeah. conspiracy ever yeah. <laughs> my point exactly right like <laughs> oh sorry yeah. that's point <laughs> sorry, my bad. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just very anti conspiracy theory. <sighs> that's I'm, that's an I guess that's a thing where I'm people talking. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Go continue. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. My horoscope today was pretty good as well. Tommy Nerdy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> sorry. I'm okay. I'm fine. I swear I'm fine. I'm okay. Everyone should really say their signs really quickly. No, we don't need to go. Th no, we're good. It's go it's good. Oh. Everybody say your signs really It's good. Quickly. It's not relevant. Very important. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. I'm a Leo. 
am the Sagittarius. <laughs> Your turn. I don't know what I am. Let's go, Dylan. Let's go, Dylan. What? Hell yes. When are you born? How's your birthday? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, mean, well, I, I can find his birthday. Does. Find That's his the birthday. whole point of a horoscope. I can Let's find go. his birthday. Okay. Uh, How can you find my birthday? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter? Like, you probably why do you not, bro, why do you not oh. have your birthday on your Snapchat? Oh, Wait, damn. friend's birthstone. They're literally talking. Birth, yeah. Birthstone? Oh, I see it. Okay, okay. I found, his, astrolo his astrological sign is Libra. He's a Libra. God Jeez, damn it. Fuck that. Libra. Dylan, you're such a Libra. I knew it. Uh, oh, Libra I is going, crazy oh. Libra. Man. You are a Libra, though. You, you have to admit, you are a Libra. That's so true. Libra's oh my like God. three months after Sagittarius. What's nerdy? Like Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I knew it. I, yeah, I knew that. That's actually crazy. Sagittarius. Crazy. No. Fucking yes. Oh, my days. Uh... I'm sorry for like derailing the podcast. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't, what, like, what are the fucking signs? Like, Leo? Is that one? That's me. That's one. Yeah, that's one. I can name all of them in order if you want me to. <laughs> Thank I can probably name all of them in order. Why can you name all of them in order despite because coming off like you hate I have them. so many people, because this is why I'm passionate about it. There's so many people around me that think that, think that shit is real. And like, okay, the thing is, all of you interact with people, okay? Yeah, all of no you are people that like real. don't take it seriously. Trolling. Not at all. But I interact on a daily basis with people that actually think that the day you were born has an impact on the your personality for the rest of your life. What? Well, oh, not just God. the day nerdy, the sun and the star. Yeah, and the, like the rising. It's something. not that people rising. think that the stars yeah, will impact the, the future. Oh my God. Bro, we yeah. are not. We there, we have science for a reason. There is a reason that science exists. Oh my God! Can people not? Oh my God! Oh my God! So it better. does determine your personality then. Yeah. See, clearly, you're such a Sagittarius. Like God that's fucking yeah. damn it. That's exactly <laughs> okay. what Sagittarius would say. <sighs> I'm pretty sure in the, in the horoscope for Sagittarius today it was you will try to kill your girlfriend with a broken chair. If I read it. <laughs> God fucking damn it. What oh the, my is, god. Let's have a look. Sagittarius horoscope. Let's see. There was a period of like six months be some bullshit. every night. That was great. Oh you yeah, of course it is. I mean, it always today. is. That's the whole last point. You'll drink no, water. Wait, wait, we have a perfect person to ask you. Because T-Wags is super, super spiritual and religious. But he also <laughs> is like a scientist. So like, yeah. Yeah. T-Wags, what's your, what's your opinion? You're only two out of five stars for sex today, nerdy. According to horoscope.com, oh. but <laughs> on, you're so, four out of five weird. stars for vibe. Whatever. <laughs> vibe. <laughs> vibe. It's randomly generated. <laughs> so okay, I, here's your phone. Go ahead. Go ahead. It Finish says May eighteenth, twenty twenty-two. Seduction through words is your real power, Sagittarius. You have a great okay. talent. For anything involving oh. words. What? Yeah. That's, what? Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so oh, no way. Shit, it's real. That's crazy. You're People able talk. to attract even more admirers around you today. With the current planetary energy at work, you'll surely get first <laughs> prize in any contest of words. You know what I would If you've been thinking about okay. writing a love letter, by all means do so now. I want Damn. I want I want T Wags to talk. But I do want to say one thing that I would find, I would love any of these fuckers to try and define the word energy. And I guarantee that no one would get even close to being correct. I can do it. Sorry. I know it's no, like... no, Mountain Dew is not how you define energy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's right there. Uh, it's right uh, there, chat. What is it like? What, 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 what's energy again? Like force times distance or something? Uh, 5% juice. <laughs> okay. Dude. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> is that what train means when you put the juice up? Does it, does, it just, does it just say juice on the back? Like it's just like nondescript no, no, no. juice? It says 5% juice, 0 grams added sugar, zinc, vitamins A and C. Just but... juice. Like, no. Yeah. Is it orange? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. orange? Yeah. It's white grape juice. So oh, it's, it's like grape. Wine, basically. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was like non like non deterministic juice, like. <laughs> yeah, T. Wags, you're, you're always talking about Jesus and God. What's your thoughts on astrology? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a well-known spiritual kind of leader in the MCSR community. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people know. I no, I'm I'm really happy for uh, people believing in horoscopes or was it astrology? Astrology is this? this yeah, answer? yeah, not astronomy. Science? Astrology, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't believe. I mean, it's all it's all nonsense. Most of us know that. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like, a lot of us that believe it's nonsense and garbage and don't listen to it at all, it's because like we have our own uniqueness and individuality we, we're all like we all have something that we can attach to that's that's not that you know in our lives and we feel happy confident about that but some people like they're just not as interesting they're just more boring and so they they like, <laughs> I, i'm not saying this for everyone and this isn't just astrology either but like people need to grasp onto something that defines them in life or else you're just like floating around not doing anything so if astrology is <laughs> your thing and you read the horoscope every day like dope go for it i'll listen to you read your horoscope and that's you today. Like I go out there and get them. So I'm like stoked when people talk about that because they're excited about something. I get excited about other shit that's completely like not related to that. Um, but nerdy, you got it. You can't be mad at these people. You're just better than them. Okay, I like that take. That's actually a good idea. And be <laughs> like, 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 you gotta idea. hold your anger inside and be like, you know what? You are a Sagittarius today. You know, <laughs> you know that's I, that's a good that's a good mental. I think I, I you see I've, I've learned so much in this conversation. I'm so glad I got brought to you. Guys it it comes to a point though when you start to get into flat earthers and stuff. Like yeah. then you gotta then see, it starts okay, to change but, up a little bit. But that's the thing is like to me I don't see them as any different because to me it's like <laughs> they're both been proven like factually wrong. Yeah, and like, that's, that is so true. like, well, I, no. one is just a I mean, little bit more hard for flat, 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 flat earth. Is flat, yeah, flat earth has not Astrology, been Astrology, like, you know. at least from what I understand, is like, the statements for any one sign are just so vague that you can just apply it to anything, anywhere. Yeah, like, more or less. A lot of the time, like, you can meet someone, tell them, like, a fake birthday, they'll be like, yeah, you match with that, and then you're like, oh, this is my real birthday, they're like, ah, no, that makes sense, though, because it was right. actually, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. all the, yeah, all of it is Aries so would lie vague. about that birthday. <laughs> but fa- Flat Earth is just straight up wrong, bro, like, look outside. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't there a new like, theory now? Like, is it, isn't, like, the Flat Earth is moving to, like, the Frozen Worlds theory or some crap? <laughs> I don't know. Know. Oh, so we don't flat Earthers, us Flat Earthers are no. still going strong. And, you know, <laughs> you know what? See, no, no, no. Okay, no. This is. I could go off on a nerdy tangent about this. This is exactly what the flat earthers. This is their prerogative. Okay, pound cake is not an idiot. I know everyone out there. <laughs> well, he is. No, well, everyone well. thinks he is. It's an elaborate troll. I, I agree. I've been saying, I've been saying pound this. cake is a genius, and he's just like the flat earthers. They're above us, and they're just trolling us to get a reaction. They know the Earth is round. <laughs> oh, pound fuck. is pretending to be an idiot. All these clips I... he's farming. He knows exactly what he's doing, bro. Oh my god. My that's like entire crazy. time, my entire time in MC- MCSR has been acting stupid just so I could beat two eggs at poker. And I fucking destroyed him. And it fucking worked. That's uh, yeah. uh, yeah. credits like 20 bucks. That's actually crazy. I mean, it was a 50-50, it was, yeah. so it was just RNG. I mean, you didn't know. So it wasn't like right there was any brain. Zero, you you, have you win in pre-flop. It was a 50-50. I mean, we flop? saw the stats. You are, you are coping, man. I mean, it said it, it's like ace jack suited against uh, against pocket tens, bro. It's a 50 50. There's nothing smart about that. I mean, oh, man, you what did you end the night like down 40? Um, yeah, damn, it's unfortunate, man. You're okay. uh, you're being a real Pisces right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm Indian. That's exactly what a Pisces would say. You know, actually, like seven years ago, uh, they the people in like newspapers were just like writing horoscopes like randomly for what they felt you know like there's no logic behind it but seven years ago scientists were like oh actually the stars have like changed in the night sky and it shifts all the horoscopes by like 13 days or something (laughs) so they there's seven years ago the horoscopes were different days (laughs) yeah so they've all changed so some people might have changed since they were born well they actually change i thought the stars move daily yeah why don't they change every day then Okay. Well, it's, listen. Well, there's different. Sometimes know, people let let bored people have fun. Yeah, sometimes you just get bored. Yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe that's the right <laughs> take. Find this hobby. I I just I like I. It's I, not harmful either, too, which is a thing. Like, unless people make it harmful, you know what I mean? Like ninety-nine yeah, percent of people just kind of like, my ears. 
horoscopes i, I feel like is, is harmless fun but like flat earth is kind of annoying at some point because you get I like elaborate like... trolls and then like people who don't know what's going on just like think the earth is flat <laughs> and it kind of sucks you know <laughs> i just i, I just I, like we fall over when we walk i just wish we were above it you know what i mean i just wish we were above it you know it's like yeah, it's true. Uh, what, you know it's like anti-vaxxers you know i, I mean you obviously not as bad but like it, like it's the same like lack of trusting science thought process that's i just despise that's what i'm trying to say also horoscopes do affect people pancakes told me multiple stories about it affecting his dating life so <laughs> no it has <laughs> no it has well it's not much of a dating life but oh yeah, yeah. it would be if you were a better star sign that's all yeah <laughs> it... yeah that's no, fine <laughs> like there was one conversation where i had where i was like i have a subset of the team she was like oh my god we should get married and then she was like, what's yep. wrong with you? And I was like, that's yeah, how I'm it went clarity. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate. <laughs> what was Wait, the question? Have a sub the question yeah, was the misconception in streaming. That was the question. <laughs> wow, we really went off on a tangent. <laughs> God good. damn. No, there was, a, there was a double down of the question. Like, there was a change of question because um, Semi also semi. asked. Yeah, Feinberg made the Semi came in. Yeah. Yeah, because Feinberg had this terrible take where he said channel points are bad, and then he redeemed the channel point, uh, and we yeah. had 30 minutes of free That's content. So <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Channel points are secret dub. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay. No, no it's, yeah, here's my take on channel points. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm getting. No, no, no it's, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, I'm, that's I'm, the real question. If you're like zero to 100 viewers, like channel points should just be really fun and interactive for your audience. Like a lot of times I play Minecraft and, you know, I don't get anyone's any chatters. And then I do like a redeem uh, Microsoft MS Paint drawing or something for like five minutes. And I get a bunch of people coming in because my paint drawing sucks and it's really fun, you know. And then uh, I think if you're above like 100 viewers, you gotta you can't like take time away from what you're doing though it's got to be like on the side and like really fast like it plays a sound or something like that so they're way harder with higher viewers i agree but like channel points if you really really think about it and make them special to your channel could be pretty dope so yeah make it work yeah. is there anyone else yeah. that wanted to add to this question <laughs> um um i was gonna say i was just gonna say i think streaming is way harder than people yeah, give it credit if you want to do well it is like it's easy enough to press go live and do it and then just treat it as a hobby don't do don't expect much if when you're treating it as a hobby but if you want to do more with it you actually have to commit to it you have to do yeah, other yeah. things like it's not yeah it's not straightforward when it's similar to that when i started streaming i was like okay i need to be like always on and like talking as if there's a chat even you know when there's not a chat when you're having like fucking nightbot and commander root are your only fucking viewers <laughs> in your viewer list like my my in my head i was like well, i have to keep like talking because you can't have somebody go in there and then be like this dude isn't talking for five minutes i'm just gonna leave chat um so like i had that like you have to always be on and in my head i was like well this will happen until i get like you know 10 15 viewers and then i can just kind of relax a bit and i don't need to be as off and like my chat will bring the content but it's still like at least for the way i stream it's like you have to always be like focused and on and you can't like if you have like a lull where you're not like energized or like doing something stupid in my like my thing or something like that then it's like you can see it impact like your chatting interaction you can see it impact like your view account and stuff like that so it's like that pressure of just being always you're not allowed to have low like low points during a stream i mean you are but in your head you're like i can't you know, I can't mm. deal with that, and I can't. I'm not allowed to have that. So, I'm yeah. mental. It, it can be pretty stressful. Totally agree with that. Like, I, I would say, like, commentary probably helped for that, for, like, for my side of that, like, quite a lot, because when you're commentating over a game, and it's just you, and you're trying to explain the game to everyone, you don't, you're, like, almost, like, not allowed to leave any airtime, like, to just blank space. And obviously having someone else in the booth with you is really, really helpful, but obviously you also need to kind of build a bit of a rapport with them to be able to understand when you're trying to, you know, tail off from a sentence such that they're able to take over for a bit and things. But when you're in a on, in a stream on your own for two, three, four, six, twelve 12 hours, depending on how long you, you're live for, like, it takes a big toll. Like, you get tired very fast, things like that. Um, 
But one thing that was kind of unrelated that I wanted to mention, you'll see a lot of people, you'll hear a lot of people say, um, especially when you're like growing and trying to get to grow, like, you know, when you're, when you're averaging 20 viewers or something like that, and you're like, you really have set yourself a goal. Let's say you want to get to a thousand followers by the end of the year. People will say, oh, don't look at your viewers. Don't, try, you know, turn off your viewers in the dashboard and things like that. It's the most pointless and random piece of advice, in my opinion. I mean, some people may use that and some it may be perfect for them. But there has never been a time where I have kept my viewers off for a whole stream and not checked maybe at least 5, 10, 15 times. Because it's like, there's nothing you can particularly do to change it. It's uh, in, in the short term, in like now, you can't change it so that oh, you can do something and then that number will go up like today. But obviously in the long run, you can. But there's no way a, that my mental is strong enough that I can be like, oh yeah, actually I just won't look today. I, I'll, I'll keep my view account off because obviously you have bad days and shit. But overall, it's 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 just a, I, I think it's a redundant piece of advice. And I know that's a little bit of a not quite what the question was, but I feel like it's still no, no, relevant. that's valid. No, that, that was a question. That, yeah, that answered the question. Yeah. I, I I leave my viewers off, but I still check it because you can hover the mouse and see the count. Yeah, but I feel like it did mentally affect me sometimes when like you do mm. like, like you do something like it is completely inconsequential viewers go up and down they change and then yeah. you're like wait did i do something wrong there and like you can just like you're like i don't want to dwell on that i'd rather check in every now and again but i don't need to see it i don't need to see a live update yeah and that's that's like a good like that's a much better way of saying it than say oh just turn off your view account because then that almost makes it in my eyes at least it was like I really want to see how I'm doing. Like, I want to know, like, especially when I was, like, going for partner. Like, mm -hmm. I was trying to get to 75 viewers average, and it's like, if I have a stream that hits 40 average, it's just going to fucking tank, and it's going to be awful. And I see, you know, obviously, it's best then to maybe only check a few times a stream rather than not at all. But also, if you check for the first time, and it's, like, half an hour in, and you see, oh, damn, I'm only at, like, you know, X number of viewers, which is half of what I usually get. The rest of the stream is just going to be shit because you're going to feel like really bad. So in my eyes, it was always, I'm just going to leave it on so I don't get shocked by it almost. But I guess for some people, it may work in the other way where it's like, if I never see it, then I'll never like change how I act on the stream. I don't know. Anyway. I, wait, I think, I think uh, like uh, maybe what you're trying to like say, I can like add to um Go on. which i feel like i feel like specifically you're talking about like the, the having the number count on or off but i feel like mm. sort of more generally speaking what you're talking about is sort of the ability to <clears throat> understand cope and also um not get overly confident with your viewer numbers um in general yeah basically right like the ability to look at your numbers sort of objectively and think, okay, this stream is doing way better. Why? And like trying to answer that question without being like, I am the greatest streamer of all time. I literally am permanently the best streamer. I'm always going to be the best streamer. But also being able to look at the stream and, and what you're not doing as well and try and answer the, the question of like, why is this not doing as well? Where, where, where were the viewers? Where are they now? Why am I not going to get stream? Rather than yeah. more of a thing of, of like... Yeah, and, it's, yeah, it's hard to um, get out of the mindset of seeing a viewer dip or increase and yeah. thinking that you did something wrong. But I've yeah. realized the truth is that it's like got a lot more variance than you would expect, right? Mm. Like, yeah. this affects me less now because I'm more of the bigger MCSR streamer, but like... <laughs> If you're live and someone bigger than you goes live, like it just goes down. And and unless you're literally checking, like you see the number go down and then you check the live list and you're like, oh, Illumina went live or something. You know what I mean? Like that happens to me still. Like that's one example, right? And it's just because the audience is the same, right? So it's like Illumina goes live, I lose 200 viewers from if I'm not checking, then I'm like, oh, why did 200 people just leave? Like I'm resetting. It doesn't like, it's, it's been the same thing for two hours, right? It doesn't make any sense, but you have to, understand that there's just a lot of variance there's time zones right like based on just what like global like schedule is like 
a lot of Twitch viewers are in school and if there's finals happening, things just go down. You have to like think yeah. about that. You have to think of summer. You have to think of weekends. You have to think of just, is there like a rant? Like if you try to stream while NCC is happening, obviously you're going to get less viewers. Um, but it's good to know, like identify trends and stuff. Um, I guess there's not really a point in the number like during the stream but like looking at it like a week on week basis like i've definitely noticed that aa has been better especially like the amount that viewers climb during a run too like that's something that the viewer count is really nice to notice like why like why are people actually watching like why why do i peak in streams it's like well if i'm on a run it, the pace pal effect instead of rc being like a minute and a half it's like two hours that people like they they tune in I'm resetting whatever they tune in. I'm in the end. They're like, okay, sure. Like maybe you'll be playing for another two hours. So it's like, it helps with like trends and stuff. And I think it's a really good number to use like on an average type basis, but like day to day, it doesn't matter at all. Like there's no, like yeah. I get like a hundred, 200, 300 viewer, like influence, like uh flux in between like streams on the same week. And it doesn't matter at all. Like, I don't care. Someone else is live. People have shit to do. I'm at a weird time. It doesn't matter at all. Right. Also, I mean, as um as a community or just in general, uh, it's like beginning to become summer, and that's kind of a big rise for viewers in like Minecraft and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, like that's that that summed it up pretty well. Like from a from a very short term basis in stream after stream, I wouldn't like worry about the number of viewers that much. In fact, like what's probably more important is like how many new people have you hit this stream? Like, how many new followers have you got? How many, like, people have joined your Discord or something? You know, like, yeah. there, nope. there's yeah. always oh. other things to check on a short-term basis. Obviously, on a long-term basis, viewer numbers is quite a good trend. Like, you can see trends quite well with viewer numbers over a longer period of time. But it's really not something to get bogged down with. I um, So, leaving on fine turn it off fine what like whatever you do it's fine just don't, try not to like let it affect you that much and if it does then try it don't think how am i going to increase this number think about how you're going to improve in like a broader context right anyway i've waffled about this for like 10 minutes sorry <laughs> no no i i totally agree with what you just said I think that the one big issue with Twitch in general is that the fact that um, when, when, when you see your follow list, it's ordered by viewer count. When you go into the browse section of a, of a different page, it's ordered by viewer count. The Twitch game has been sort of, uh, it's been ingrained into us that that is what defines streamers as how successful they are. Is that viewer True count. as well. But huh? Like, I know when I start with more viewers in my stream, I'll retain more viewers right. in my stream and grow, like get more viewers it, throughout. No, it does help. Yeah. It it's does help. up on the list on the side. People are like, oh, Fulham's live. Like, you don't right. have to click the show more button at the right. bottom so that I'm under Feinberg and fucking all of the other people. And it's like, oh, okay, Lewis has been 10 minutes into a stream and it says 20 viewers. I'll click that. Like, you're more likely to click right. Trainwrecks TV than you are to click some random guy who's spinning slots. Like, you're going to obviously be drawn to... The people with more viewers like that is yeah i i feel like that's not only with just viewers clicking on but when someone's like dead tired at the end of a stream they just want to raid they don't want to like scroll through that whole list it's sure, not yeah. as big of a deal in this case but yeah. i feel like i've definitely just been like i'm just gonna do this like fifth person on this list rather than hitting show more if 20 people are alive or something like that no like i yeah so what i was trying to say is is yeah like it definitely helps to have obviously the viewer counts is like a big thing but as far as tr again trying to be sort of um not uh dwelling in the numbers and more like trying to be constructive about looking at like objectively i guess um looking at things i think follow count and you also mentioned joining discord i think those are two really good examples of you doing a good job as a streamer because yeah we watched because... the same devin nash video dude like it's <laughs> No, well, yeah, yeah. So, so like, well, I'm explaining this to chat though. Right? So, so like, the idea that, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just joining this from Devin Nash. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. That guy's I like realized it when I said it as well. So, like, the idea that, um, like, because who knows truly, like, who knows if the, if like my viewers come from a raid, if they come from, you know, um, or or anyone's viewers come from a raid, they're bots, like who knows i mean like you can kind of tell by like how active your chat is but not really like it just it's, it's really complicated but if you see someone 
choosing to click on your follow button, choosing to join your Discord. That's an active thing your viewers are saying, I like this content and I want to see more. Like that is a good sign of you doing something right. Even if your viewer count is fluctuating, like those things are a really good way to, to judge uh, like success on Twitch, in my opinion. And, and those kind of things, if you see yourself doing good with that long term, should result in ultimately more viewer count over time. Cool. Next question. Next question. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, if anyone has any last things. Um, I guess that we'll go with... When should we go with Semi? Semi, you can choose the next one. If you won $10 million tomorrow, what would you spend? Oh, shit. I don't know. 10 million? Okay, let me... You put 7.5 in a fucking index fund and then you don't have to work for that okay life. okay let me let me bro, write this question okay. you have very to spend 10 million dollars tomorrow I'm like, is it post tax or pre tax and do no, no, just like the... god damn it fine break stop being annoying <laughs> uh, no you just get 10 million dollars to spend it on whatever no tax just like you don't have to work a day in your life you spend no, a million on a obviously house, you, you save that's obviously the correct but the point is you spend 10 million dollars tomorrow what are you buying you have to. How about that? You really? Have you have to, to spend it? it? Oh, yes. That's a better answer. I got it. I got it off the bat. S&P 500 stock. What do you mean? God damn it. <laughs> Shut up. You're so annoying. Wait, Wait, just like buy a ton of gold or something oh and then sell it God, later. Oh my God, you guys are so really? no, 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 no. I would Why, you, why would you buy machines. gold? Why would you buy gold when you can buy virtual gold with a bored ape <laughs> NFT? God damn it. They see a They see a million. Actually, dude, I am just curious. Oh my god, what happened to our thing? You messed up Who did? God damn it! Okay, okay. We need to have places. He's right. Uh, you guys are mad. Come on, you got your own box. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, I'm just gonna people talk uh, for the time being. So today, I was just curious i don't even know what triggered it i i must have saw some i was just curious so i i looked up nfts and found this yeah. website where you can buy them and i just scrolled and scrolled and scrolled it was the one of the funniest things i've seen recently all these stupid apes and lions they're literally like computer generated they have like they have one part of the animal in different colors, another part of the animal in different colors, and that I I'm positive some computer program like mixes and matches them, yeah, and yeah, just generates great. a whole bunch of these. It's things. hard. That's it's actually. Hard. Oh my god, that, dude, it was okay. so stupid. That, For I'm thousands not, not of dollars, it generates them if you want. Like you just upload different PNG parts, and it just like. I don't know, it, it, you replace like the eyes and it's a blue one and a green one and then a really rare sunglasses one. And depend, you can set the rarities to like generate these images. I watched a YouTube video on it. Like I watched a 15 minute tutorial because oh. I got that deep down the rabbit hole. And it's like, in like 15 minutes, you can generate 15,000 NFTs or some bullshit. Like, yeah, it's virtual builder bear. Yeah, like that's, that's the exact way of saying it. It's like, it's okay, like this, beach. I know this oh, is like, I don't, Okay, first of all, wait, Mustard, if you want to say something, go ahead. Sorry. No, that was it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, this for some reason, like, I know that this is, okay, first of all, I know that this is not near this, like, I don't know, first of all, I just want to say, I don't know anything about NFTs. All I know is I saw some artists upset about it on Twitter, and so I assume it's probably bad. That's like, all, literally, all I know, I don't know anything about any cryptocurrency, anything, but this conversation we'll is reminding me. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about them. God damn, yeah, okay. I have a course to spend. <laughs> no, but this conversation is reminding me. The other day, Feinberg gave me like a like a one to two hour long lecture about um CSGO skins and, and, and Rocket League skins and how like it like rolls different like parts of a map and like people freak out over like there's the skins oh, for like a million dollars or yeah, some yeah, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's so that's so wild. Legion, man. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have like a sixty percent blue gem or like a seventy-five percent blue gem or some bullshit five seven, which is quite nice. Oh, five seven. That's that's yeah. pretty. It's, it's a pretty, it's it's a pretty juicy magusa. I'm not gonna lie. I can't, but I the thing know. is, Fulham, you said that, but now because of Feinberg, I actually like at least kind of yeah. know what you mean. It's full blue barrel with oh, a wow with a, like a gold tip. It's pretty. It's pretty sexy actually. That's that's pretty. That's pretty cool. It's better than a full blue. It's not. 
I checked the price. It's really not, it's not that expensive, <laughs> actually. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, does anyone else... What, okay, so anyone else. I guess Feinberg, we all know, would be spending it on CSGO skins, because that's... What do, yeah. you, what do you spend $10 million on? I don't know. A house, money. maybe, Feinberg? A mansion. Like, that's the one Wait, answer. Yeah. What else? Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe you want to get a jet. I don't know. Or a, actually, that might be too much. Wait, look, I need, I need to do like math. Like a car? You can you buy, chef. I don't know. The point or is you can buy something cool tomorrow. Money. What do you buy? Oh, and that's actually so correct. Yeah. Personal chef. That's yeah. huge. Can, Wait, what'd you say? Oh, can, fuck yeah. Personal chef? Yeah, that's crazy. Can we, personal that's McDonald's. Uh, can we... Uh, I have a quick, can we mute Pancake before he says how much Mountain Dew No, I Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're paying me for that. I don't need to spend money for that. Right. So I'll, Surely. With $10 million, but you had to spend it all in one day, you can get a million years of Tinder premium. <laughs> Jesus, he's still going to get the fucking <laughs> match. That's actually crazy, crazy bro. Damn. Oh, my God. I mean, God. it's what I got to do, man. Well, Dude, luckily, 10 million I don't need years, Tinder. Five zero is still zero, bro. Like... I might. <laughs> All right, what the see. heck? Um, uh, I've discussed this hypothetical a lot, India, like in detail with different amounts of money. Like, it, it's never going to happen. But like, I've gone through like a million, like a hundred thousand, like 10 million, like dollars. Pa like, it's weird. But yeah, I have like the whole setup done, basically. How long have I been muted? Like an oh, hour. Already, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you, yeah. You heard, uh, You're here. Have you been? What? I Wait, didn't know Actually, Wait, how long have I been muted? I thought I mustard was running. We, we, heard you, we heard you say the thing about you don't need Tinder, so you've just muted. Oh, okay. Good, good, Five good. seconds ago. Yeah. I guess no one just left. God damn. I have a great oh, answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Step one. Okay. Um, you buy a little shack, not too expensive, maybe like 20k, right? Like a little shed. Okay. And then you have to where, get the Phillips where? view, buy a bunch of... Um, like in the middle of nowhere? Like North Dakota? Behind Feinberg's house, right? Okay, and then you buy a big <laughs> telescope for hey. for stargazing. Okay, and then that'll cost about like 50k, we'll say. Because that's a big yeah. telescope. A big telescope, okay, okay. So you can what? watch Feinberg. And then oh. after... <laughs> what? Say what? that quick. What? can this out. And then, so you have like nine... How much were you given? I don't know. You put, you go, you take the rest. You go to the casino and put it all on black. Yeah, you get double the money. I'd always say red. Yeah. Hmm? Actually, actually, put five million on fourteen and five million on thirty-six because it's got to be yeah. one of the two, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's. Why is it have to be one of the two? I thought you were saying put five million on red and five million on black, and you can never yeah. lose. You put it all on green, actually. <laughs> put it all on green. That's you get actually the most crazy. Possible money. What? Oh what? god. Actually, actually what you should do is use all of the 10 million and try and get a bonus bonus bonus. Get me in right now and say absolutely fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I have a good answer. There's, like there's, two words, so oh. there's only one thing I could like I'm pretty I'm chilling in life actually. I'm pretty good. So okay. Sure. All right, good there's for only you. One thing I flex, think of, bro. Uh, you already buying, have to. I would get a really, like, I would spend all the money on a mic for Mustard so that when I'm watching his stream, it doesn't sound like I'm in a wind tunnel. Thank you! And I've told Mustard this. Me, bro. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's crazy. Yeah. Right. You spend some of that money on, like, a little bit of a bigger dartboard. Wait, T-Rex, you said you're chilling right now, right? So, yeah. uh... Yeah, yeah, You have any, like, extra funds, maybe? You want to play Yeti? <laughs> that's not your way, dude. Yeah. I mean, I you mean... have to stream more than, like, once every two weeks, though, so... <laughs> Oh, it's kinda, yeah. it's, kinda, it's so hard <laughs> it's though. Return on I know, I understand, bro. I'm not sure that much either. <laughs> it's final season. Leave us be. I've been out of school for like three weeks. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I haven't had anything to do. How um? That's good. How many instances do you reckon you could run with the ten million dollars? Wow, that's a good. You question. You could just get more than one Seven? PC. <laughs> Probably. You can buy people yeah, to reset dude. for you. Run like a server with like a hundred. Time to run a hundred and twenty. You know? Yeah. Actually, fire. Yeah. Ten Why people do I have with this? ten PCs to like make an auto resetter. Like, if you see ocean, tell me. I'll walk to you and I'll play that. True. Scene. True. You could. You well, that seems like a co-op. You could pay all of them. At least, bro. I don't know. About no, that. no, no. Because they made no inputs during the run. Therefore, all your run. Yeah, neither does a filter. What do you mean? It's still, you're still filtering a filter out a scene. No program. 
I sell, well, what if you're yeah, like young that. brother? <laughs> still human. having another human. <laughs> it's either a filter or a cough. That's all I'm saying, bro. You no pick way, man. Yeah. No way. I you can have other people do what if you get an AI to tell if there's a, a section of the screen that is this amount blue? That's a filter, though, right? That's a filter. Yeah. 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 Less, I guess, but it doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't use in game like info it unless it's the, a cyborg and it's built into your brain then we have to come up with a new leaderboard i've already thought about this <laughs> and talked about it <laughs> are cyborgs good, wait, allowed on the same question. leaderboard as humans probably not right wait that's, that's a good question of crooks. No. that's true i crooks has it what if crooks is a cyborg oh my god wait did we, we figure it out yeah, did we just figure it out in his brain oh my, oh my god. god that's why that's how he does it there's no other explanation yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, for, we and we know the the good thing here though is we know for a fact that Feinberg is legit because if he was a cyborg, he would have sub three AA. We all know that. I what, think what, with the ten million dollars, I would well, give he hasn't gotten it, dollars, so. I nine million, million dollars from Vera, so I am now the leader of the speedrun.com team, and then <laughs> reject everyone's runs, <laughs> and then I am the world record. Yeah, there's someone watch. higher than the the individual games. They'll just remove you. Oh yeah, you could just buy speedrun.com. Oh, the entire. Oh, okay. Yeah, just so buy you have, you'd have to be in charge of every single game though. Yeah, but I just delete you every delete other game. game. <laughs> I mean, I think that's Deadpool a good idea. A, Deadpool comes How, up. That's a great idea. Overthrows you, dude. How long would you backseat someone for ten million dollars? Like. If someone gave you like a ten million dollars, how 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 many I'm like pounding you like an hour? Otherwise, I'd I have, commit to bro, life I've then. offered you like I've offered you like a hundred bucks to backseat me through one <laughs> AA run. Bro, yeah, that's, that's not an hour, is it? That's like a It's at least actually, twenty hours. Actually, pounding a cake is like a different rate, you know. Like that's just too much <laughs> at that point. Rate. It's not backseating at that point. It's like it's like it's just trying to Jurgen doing the speed run, but it's like. Pounty is actively fighting against your completion rate, so it's like even yeah. harder than normally running. <laughs> yeah, true. So, yeah, that's hundred percent. How the many case. hours would we be commentating for straight if if that was a hundred thousand hours, eight eighty thousand hours? And I all uh, yeah, eight hundred thousand hours. That's crazy. Yeah. If there was two of us in the booth and we pulled our money, it would only be four hundred thousand hours, true. which is how many years? Ten days, a hundred days, a thousand days. 45 years straight. Really? Only 45 yeah. years straight? It's not that bad. I'd spend 45 years in the booth for T-Wags. That'd be fine. Yeah, we would be good. And then we'd have $5 million dollars each. That'd be crazy. I'd love that. <laughs> and <laughs> half your life is gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not a different tire. That'd be okay. You know, and if you like doing it. T-Wax doesn't have that long. I was thinking that, Oliver, but that's messed up, dude. That's really messed up, bro. Oliver... I get it because T-Wax is old. <laughs> Damn. Wait, T-Wax, I have a genuine question. I need to... I don't know which... I like. My job is offering like medical insurance and they're offering me like two different plans, and I don't know what any of the words mean. And I was hoping that you could help me like pick out the best like medical insurance. I just speedrun it, to be honest. Just look at... like. Just look at the big numbers and big words and stuff and whatever. Just pick one. It doesn't matter. You know, that's what I do. It feels home. right. Most of my adult yeah, decisions. I'm going to be like not having homework and not being a student is dope. Being an adult sucks. You just got to speed on all your, all yeah. the boring adult shit, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very good. On foggy woggies. Okay. My, I have another great question here. Here's my next one. Um, unless anyone had anything else to add to that. Um, but my next question. Okay, it sounds like a joke, but I do mean it seriously. Oh my god. I know you guys. It's very hard for you guys to be serious. But my question is, who has inspired you the most? What Or multiple people. Could be multiple people. But who is someone that has inspired you a lot? I will start, as always. Just for streaming me, or in the world? In, in general, context, in whatever. It yeah. could be streaming. It could be um, It could be in life. It could be a friend. It could be your, I don't know, parent or, I don't know, a teacher or something. Uh, for me, I will start. I will start. For me, I would say probably my, I actually mentioned them earlier, I guess. But probably for me, the most inspirational person, so to speak, um, is my uh, 12th grade literature teacher, I would say, um, because 
He taught me so much, I feel like, about the world. And I don't even like literature. I think this is what T-Wag was saying earlier, that the teacher is so important because I don't even like literature, but he completely changed my perspective through literature about so many things. Um, and I, I still think about like sort of how that, how it, the, the thought processes and, and, um, uh, and, and so many things that he taught me that definitely probably one of, if not the most inspirational person to me, but you guys can all uh, go ahead. If anyone mm -hmm. has anything. No one? Inspiration for myself. You're an inspiration. That's fair. That's a valid take. No, I'm, I mean, like, that's, that's part of it. Typical, it, typical. It used to be my dad. Character. Um, for like the like until recently, no, nothing happened. It's just like the my family in general. Nothing Trade happened. Me. <laughs> that sounds bad. No, no, like they're just less supportive with content creation than like myself or like you guys or like yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's so there's valid. less of a role model there, right? Because they don't understand what's going on. You know what I mean? No, that's valid. Mm -hmm. So from from a recent content creation point, it's probably Curry. Um, Fair. But like earlier in my life was my dad, just because interest shift. I know that that totally makes sense. Like they understand what I do, but not really. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I think so, that's yeah. totally valid. I was gonna say Curry too. Damn, I mean Curry. He's been Curry is like more than anyone else I know. Yeah. Just, like, always freaks out. Curry. In I, terms I of was really seriously gonna say Curry as well. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, why I answered the question first, boys. So. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, so like, take it. I mean, no, for real. Yeah. I mean, Curry is, uh, not nah, Curry. Curry is like the amount that the 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 hard the the hard work that he has shown in content creation and just in general to me is very very uh yeah. impressive. It's just uh, it, like he is just like I remember. I, I just I always for some reason this always reminds me of Curry. Like we would always be in call we, we were always in call and and like consistently he leaves and he's like all right i gotta go do work and he's like grinding out youtube like what a god like what a, like yeah. you know like he's just always yeah. working on shit yeah, Curry, Facebook. Definitely. definitely in his he's yeah, like, on the like, grind and it he's like just he, he hates leaving stuff undone he doesn't like procrastinating which is just that alone is inspirational because procrastination is so easy to do it yep. really hard to overcome and he's just on the grind. It's it's respectable. Very good. Does anyone else have an, uh, another person that is? In, it could be again. It could be someone content related, not content. Let's in in general. Could be anyone. Yeah, content related. I think anyone who is in this community and looks at streaming as some sort of hobby slash pastime, slash, you know, whatever. That it, like Curry has got to basically be up there as an inspiration in my eyes at least um in general uh i'd consider like a sports person joe bryan to be like, okay. like a big inspiration of mine uh what, what as well do? as then family etc uh joe bryan is fulham's left back uh oh, okay. he just is a very big advocate for mental health and uh sports obviously as well like uh, sports a big part of my life and um yeah, I like him a lot. He's really cool. Uh, that sounds awesome. But yeah, then in in content, Curry, in workload, like my one of my best mates is just crazy good at like always working, and I hate it, and I'm just jealous. I think I don't I don't know if inspiration just stems from jealousy. I think it does. Like it starts out as jealousy, and then it's like, oh damn, actually, I think that you're quite inspirational. Like I should be more like you. So. Yeah. Anyway, too much talking. Go on. No, that was a good answer. That was fantastic. Anyone else want to go? I don't have a great answer to this. So that's fine. But like in terms, any, of, in terms of like Minecraft, too, if you don't have anyone. And in, in terms of like Minecraft speedrunning and like someone that like was an inspiration for like me getting more focused and trying to get better. Rainx was like fucking insane. Someone that was just so committed to like practice and like perfecting like what they do like just i don't know it just it was great and then just grinding out runs and just like yeah look this is very respectable to just be able to spend so much time and be so dedicated to it that's no so that's, early on yeah rainx is that's a fantastic answer i think rainx is uh super like it is insane how good he is at at just learning so quickly yeah i feel like 
and then perfecting like it's not even just like yeah. learning like just like it's just yeah for sure no, that's a great answer does anyone else want um, to add something yeah i can go my my headphones were freaking out a little bit so during that i just wanted to, you know also say curry white because i think i don't know what was said during the time i just know we were talking about him um i think what he did and how he did it um in terms of you know taking i don't want to okay i hope this i hope this term doesn't come off with like negative connotations but like taking advantage of you know that time period of late 2020 and making like great entertaining content and doing great stuff with that um was really inspiring it's one of the reasons why i got into like minecraft speed running as far as what inspires me in life we'll keep it the content creation I, <laughs> there's not there's not much i'm just kind of going through the motions but in terms of content creation yeah a lot of like a lot of great ways there um i think like pod pod's pretty inspiring because he's like that old sage you go to on top of the mountain <laughs> like to like gives you like life-changing advice um yeah no those are i would say those are my two like main answers in terms of like twitch damn csr sphere valid mm -hmm. No, I feel like. I'm sorry if I repeated anything. No, 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 no. It was good. No, you, I think you said some unique thing. Um, but the... can I ask a follow-up question? Yeah, yeah. If you, if after him like giving me a nice comment, I'm gonna have, like have a like slat slat here. If Kuru is such an inspiration, why have you not got a sub fifty average on a hundred runs? So it turns out, right? I did the math. I I asked like my my stats major friend. If you die seven times in one seed, it impacts your your completion average. Uh, if you have like an hour and fifty minute time on one of the seeds, so that, I think mm -hmm. that's what's holding me back. So <laughs> I'm going in with the mindset next time of don't die seven times in one seed. Dude, and that's good job, Pancake. <laughs> that was so rough. Did we get a new question? Sorry, I no, nope, same person. No, no, nah, not no. Okay, okay. Sorry, I actually I actually spoke to my stats major friend about the same thing, and um, it. It turns out that that's just cope. Like I don't know. That was just exactly what they said. Like I, I like I don't know <laughs> what I heard. Yeah, I think that's that's a good take. Um. Okay. Well, I guess should we go into the next question? If anyone wants to go to, I don't want to interrupt anyone, but I've got a, like, like we're good. Super cheesy, really random answer. So. No, go, go, go. <laughs> it's gonna sound super cheesy at first. No. Okay, Albert Einstein. Hear okay. me out. No, that's valid. Hear me out. Um, I, when I, when I grew up, uh, I used to think like all these like famous smart people were just like kind of climbing the ladder and it was like, ah, this dude came up with this equation and this dude solved it. And like, you know, everyone's just kind of going off of each other's work. And, uh, I came across this Albert Einstein quote that really stuck with me a couple of years ago. And I may have said it on stream a couple of times, but, uh, it was, if an idea at first is not absurd, there is no hope for it. And uh, I wow. just really love that one because I, when I learned more about Einstein, he came up with all this, uh, he did all the math and went through all the boring stuff that every, all the other smart people had to go through. And then he completely sidestepped it. And he's like, yo, space and time, you guys are idiots. It's completely different. You guys have no idea what you're talking about and just came up with a completely different approach. And uh, that really inspired me through like MCSR tech development and stuff. Like, Wow, that is actually... It's good oh to God. start off in a grind set and really make sure you like know the game and all the mechanics at a fundamental level and be like halfway decent you know you don't have to be a god but like at least be decent but then just like do different stuff each run be bad like die a bunch of times like try different strategies and uh you'll often come up with something that's just better randomly and uh that may be the, that so, may be the greatest i've ever heard on this podcast it, general relativity is so dope i don't it's know how insane. the fuck he came up with that it's like a sci-fi like, hello it's insane dude <laughs> Yeah, I've a, relativity I, is just ridiculous. So... I have a I have a question actually for you, T Wags. Now that we're talking about this, I I I had a question specifically for you, which is related to all of this. Do you, okay, so T Wags, you have like literally like, I mean obviously alongside other people helping, but like you have completely changed like every single category basically, um, with whether it be you know zero cycle helping with that or um you know shipwrecks or uh fucking bastions what monuments whatever out of all of the things that you've helped mcsr 
what or maybe and maybe none of them is your answer i don't know but which one which um de strat development are you most proud of would you say um i love the door magmarvine portal because oh i remember this like it was yesterday dude the the strats and rounding discord it started with like four of us k4 invited me he's like yo i think we should be playing this game way different he invited me to this discord and then we had like i don't know 30 or 40 people one day and we started developing like the bastion and shipwreck men it started to become more and more common and we we would look for surface lava pools or just like dig in the ocean and k4 was like dude i remember the message in the discord i woke up one morning he's like guys we gotta come up with something better bro and that day Fyro came up with the using gates yeah yeah on the magma blocks to like enter the nether and i was like using doors and we had like a battle for a couple weeks on whether doors or friends gates were better <laughs> i remember it just that. like completely opened up the whole 160 meta dude instead of having to just get lucky and find lava you could just use a magma that was that was the coolest thing ever and that was like a handful of people coming up with that so that was probably my favorite like specifically the door thing because you know fuck fence gates fire sucks huh. true fence gates true, crash true, true. and awkward and i think i was uh, late on that sorry yeah <laughs> i'm kidding. so sorry uh, but i was early i in, just in i just always died in lava using fence gates i was like this sucks but uh other than that i mean monuments and bastions becoming <laughs> more meta in different versions oh. Those are super cool because you didn't have those structures before. Like in 116 Classic, you just see a bastion, you just ignore it. You know, it was yep. boring. I remember that. And in 114, Off 115, bridge because <laughs> there was yeah, like oh, there's a lot bridge. of gold. Oh my god, I can use it. Yeah, it's so just awesome. bastions in uh, 116 and monuments in 115 becoming meta just opened up a uh, whole new strategy. So, yeah. Do Do you have a biggest no semi regret that you've created? <laughs> Um, probably. Uh oh, nerdy. What's going on on street? It's okay. It was my fault. Okay. It was my fault. It was completely my fault. I'm Biggest so sorry. Regret. I'll, I'll I, I, come back to that. I have to think about everything. I was going to make it like your biggest regret in life, but I thought that was too parasocial. So I just went like your biggest yeah, Minecraft it's regret. Pretty parasocial. Yeah. Too parasocial. We're not friends at all. Mm. <laughs> no, I have to think about that. I'll get back to you in a couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, what was the question was biggest Minecraft regret? What is his biggest like MCSR like regret? Like does That's he, a good does question in general. Created? Yeah. Can I answer that? <laughs> yeah, you have plenty. Yeah, no. no. My answer is gonna be shitting on um thank you, Mustard, for this, by the way. Um my my answer for that oh! is God damn it, Mustard. This this <laughs> guy, this guy. I don't even I just I... hit an insane shot. Okay. That's crazy. That was actually a crazy shot. <laughs> This. Wow! Interested. Look at that. Okay. What the my 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 answer Why is going to be frames? my 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 my. I think my least proud moment was laughing at I, I like Omega Lord or something in K Force chat when he was lowering his FOV, and I still regret that. Well, moment. yeah, if you play under Quake, you suck. No, I mean <laughs> when he was for bat for bat for like fucking. I was joking. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember saying after Raynex's world record, like, you know, like the you know, like E rating is gonna be really important, but it's not like that. It's only gonna be good for like slow times. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I said. You don't need e right, like, yeah, man, like people talk, like holy shit. Yeah, it was such a Oh my god, it's kind of true if you look at like Shy's run. Because you know, they don't eat right. They just kind of spawn inside the bastion. That's kind of. <laughs> Wait, dude, is it true? A while that like is, Hyrule is, is just God. better, but it's just not because the act. The, no, I know because the, 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 the odds to Hyrule fun. everything is like no one's ever actually done that. You know what I mean? Right. Like it just yeah. literally yeah. hasn't happened. Like no one's Hyrule to see it. It's not even possible. So like the consistent place is better. You know, like literally no one has Hyrule to see for world record. Sense. Yeah, it just hasn't happened. But yeah, so you just can't do that. But yeah, that was probably I my that was probably my least proud on, moment, yeah. my biggest regret. Anyways, does anyone else want to go? Can I also answer what your biggest regret is, like yours? Oh my god. Okay, are you gonna say losing yeah. to you in a bat in a one v one where I was on like two hours of sleep, pound cake? Is that what you're gonna say? Cool. So I'm like, you can't call well, me. You're my girlfriend. You're supposed to support support me. See, see, nerdy. This is another instance where you're stronger than pound cake mentally he that, needs that's true. This, right that's true pound right. cake wins one thing and he attaches <laughs> onto that for like 
for like months. <laughs> so you got to see this from Pound Cake and be like, dang, he really needs this. This is really sad. You know what, Poundy? You deserve that for you. You did great. You know, you got to be the bigger man. God, I need to be Listen, more like you. I don't, I need to be more I don't like think you it was me winning. Be the bigger man. He's like five foot three. Like, <laughs> how, how? Wait, who? <laughs> Wait, me? No, nutty. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, literally, I'm, I think I'm taller than Pound Cake. Am I, am I not? How tall are you? Like six, six, one ish. Oh, okay. Five you're taller than me, bro. damn it. Fuck. Hey, but you're taller than me in spirit, King. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, also, is that like 6'1"? Like, where specifically on the like, like are we? Like, between 6 and 6'1"-ish. Fuck! Nah. I thought you were, like, high ro rounding six, one up. 6'1"-ish. If you're on the upper end, then yeah, you're probably taller than me by, like, half an inch or something. Yeah. Oh! We have a lot of, we have a lot of half-inch differences, nerdy. <laughs> I don't even know I mean, what that so means! Not, like, <laughs> I don't even know yeah, what that means. Yeah, that a lot. Like... Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I know what he means by that semi, but like, what does that, what is the implication specifically? I don't even know. Oh my god, pound cake. Oh, I just hurt my eye. Yeah, that's a huh. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Anyways, pound cake. God damn it. God damn you. Um, okay. Well, does anyone else have any questions? Wait, Wait you not out? questions. Wait, sorry, responses. <laughs> I'm, pound cake just like, ugh. Got to me. He's got to me. I need to listen yeah, to two eggs. Yeah. I don't. I need to ignore him. We're not ignore him. Just acknowledge that I'm better. Exactly. That's the, that's the mental. That's the real mental. Yeah. For uh, by what metric? Just real quick. God damn it! Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, mustard. Oh my god. Yeah, Wasn't fine. he just playing COD? Yeah, I swear he was just playing. How many fucking game. games does he have loaded up? <laughs> What's up? Okay. No, no. He's no. just watching a fucking YouTube video. This is me. <laughs> I'm playing He's right now. His own YouTube video. Okay, then stop oh, yeah. moving. Just continue yeah, the conversation. I'm do not an emote right now. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get up. <laughs> this guy, man. Okay. Um, let's let's do one final question here, since I do have to get going a little soon. Oh, you want to ask? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hey guys, oh! I have a question. Final question. I did, oh. not, I did not screen this one before. So. Oh no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Is there anything Is there in your head anything? right now that's happened to you this week? Like today, it could be good, bad, irritating. That you just want to like get off your chest for the class. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you. Go ahead. Anything recent that happened that was irritating. Anything. Feinberg, go ahead. We're here to we're here to listen. Let it out. Let out the dragon. Is it the three hundred three? But it might get me fired from my job, so I'm not going to say. Thinking. I used to. Oh, I used to Minecraft. Minecraft. I forgot a crafting table on the end. I got on the oh, end. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the fucking portal. That shit was dumb. Um, oh no. I get a crafting table and go back. I I don't know. Like that was actually frustrating though. I don't really. I kind of just play Minecraft. What's actually frustrating that like was annoying that happened? Nothing really. I mean, I had to take finals last week, which was just annoying. Um, and I had to wake up early for the method thing. That was annoying. I mean, it could be good too. Oh, there's much chilling though. Yeah, I don't know. I've been chilling. I usually just kind of chill and play Minecraft. I don't know. You chill though. Yeah, no idea actually. I will go. My okay. here's what I'm gonna I do. Oh sorry, go ahead, Lovin. You first. You first. I have something irritating. So I okay, y'all. So there was the Floby thing, okay? Floby, the video blew up. That was cool. I made money. I got this sick new PC. And for a month oh, it was shit. amazing. For the past couple weeks it has been randomly rebooting like no. just maybe two or three times a day and i do not have the slightest clue why and i'm not like totally illiterate when it comes to messing with computers and i've been on i've spent so much time talking with the customer support of the pre-built company and they're like okay you need to send this thing back for servicing so I have to send my computer back. It's going to be weeks, weeks before I get this thing back. And I, I like, it's not just gaming. I use this thing for there's, there's school as well. Like, you know, 3d modeling and just fun stuff. So I'm taking a massive L and that is frustrating. That's valid. That's very valid. That's very frustrating. Scar um... I, 
I bought the pre-built because a couple months ago, pre-builds were like the only decent way to actually get a computer. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. I mean, if 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 you if you made this yourself and it was breaking, what the fuck would you do? Like cry yeah. and buy a new computer? Like, there would be no. I got choice. a warranty on it too, so yeah. at least I have the security. I know I'm I'm like a doofus, but I actually am good with like pc shit have you tried have you done any sort of like bare bonesing of it um where you take it off people like test each piece by piece um, yeah so yeah, there's yeah. only so much i can do because i don't have that much stuff lying around but mm -hmm. i've tried a, a different power supply and i've checked all the connections like unplugged replugged and everything seems to be fine that's about all i can do really um yeah <sighs> So yeah. Sorry to hear that. Are the parts proprietary? Pro pri pro pro pi Okay, I know it was proprietary. The motherboard, it's not proprietary, but it seems to be like a thing that only crypto miners or pre-built PC manufacturers get, so it's really hard to like find info on it. But no, the the parts uh are not proprietary. What, is, what does proprietary even mean in the context where you're using it in? Y uh, it's like you can buy them off the shelf. Oh, okay, okay. Like just a like an Intel CPU would be proprietary. Or some yeah, shit? like for, for example, like Alienware pre-built PCs. A lot of them, their motherboard is so fucking weirdly shaped and can only do like specific shit. But if you like get some shit where you know all the parts are like just generic, basic, like you can buy it like a micro center yeah. or some shit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I looked up the word. It didn't help me at all, so I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Eleveny. I didn't mean to cut you off there. Yeah, okay. do you have anything else to add, Eleveny? Or was that... I don't want to... uh, well, I, I do have another thing. If if, uh, if I can go on, I, I want to take uh, summer classes. Okay. So Ooh. I have been dealing with the university registrar. Do they... Oh my god. First the guy tells me wrong information. He's like, okay, we'll add you to the classes and then you have to pay for them within 24 hours. And then I call like days later, like where are the classes? And apparently the guy told me wrong. I have to pay for them first. And so they added me, but they, I have to send them an email, tell them what classes I want to be added to. And I, they didn't request enough information because they needed like some specific section thing not just the the class and the subterm so i and then every day since then i've been calling them like okay i need to be in these classes and they say okay you'll be in these classes by the end of the day or by tomorrow and like four times i call them okay you'll be in by the end of the day and it's only today that i got in the classes and they've already started so i have to catch up it's so annoying That's i fucked. have to deal with that this weekend i have to catch up that is that is I'm, very that is it. I'm out of frustrating things. There it is. No, that's valid. Um, does anyone else want to add what, what is something that's either frustrating, good, bad, terrible, amazing? Yeah, sure, let's go. All right. So, um there's been a lot this week. What day is it? Wednesday? Tuesday? Wednesday. Okay. Um so do we want good news or bad news first? Um it can bad be whatever. News. Bad news. And then a good news uh, problem. Okay, so like I was on the bus today visiting Lauren and I got off the bus and I didn't have my keys. Um, basically, that's the whole story. I lost my keys on the bus. Um, the bus oh, actually God. came back around because it does a big loop. So I waited to get back on the bus, got back on the bus. The same bus that I was on, I like timed it right. Like I was, I was timing like how long it takes to do the next bit of the loop and come back. I got back on the bus and I got my keys back, which is great. So that was like a happy story. Um, that, then uh, that's, yesterday that's... my bike brakes broke, which is really annoying. I mean, brakes are meant to break, but like not in the right way. Like they they like didn't work kind of thing, which really fucking sucked. Um, but then one good thing that happened yesterday was uh, I submitted my dissertation, which is Let's really go! cool. So, um, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. good job. Stop. Oh, uh, can I can I just say <clears throat> the fact that <clears throat> the fact that you found your keys was pretty lucky. 
No. <laughs> stop, wow. laughing. Stop, stop laughing, Semi. Stop. Uh, Don't laugh. Uh, uh. Don't laugh. Don't give him credit. That was not good. I find, I find hey, me annoying too, actually. Hey, Pound, did you ever, did you ever in your? Oh, I didn't. Uh, nerdy. Uh, one, yeah. I have to ask you if you'll let me be uh your little Discord kitten. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that oh wow. Yeah, I think huh? so. I think, think so. Okay, then you can do it. There we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, that looked like a yes to me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there we go, Rattles, we're even. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, actually, I, would've, I totally would have. Oh yeah, I got you. Of course, I'll never forget. God damn it. Okay, anyways, does um anyone else want to go? I think uh... Yeah, people have not I, gone. I'd like to go. Yeah, go ahead. I think I know what okay, so, um, I'm very upset that I can't go to Amsterdam because it's very far for me. Damn. But the more insane inconvenience is that San Diego is so far from Ontario. Like, I would have actually gone to the one in na like that would have been cool oh no uh sorry guys i just aced in valorant um uh, <laughs> wow <laughs> oh that just it's live uh oh my game's frozen <laughs> good job good job sorry. <laughs> that was good good um, congrats i want to meet everyone and i want to go to san diego but like it just can't happen because in october and it's during school that's actually like, sad it's You've so done. far that's that's like it's yeah, literally it's farther than amsterdam i think in distance i don't know if that's true but come probably... to amsterdam simple just come i okay maybe we'll see i'll, I'll buy you your plane ticket uh for like... okay uh, <laughs> yeah. you promised well we'll talk so about it I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna okay. be a trade fucking trick is calling me mm -hmm. but... uh oh. i'm being yeah. abused how do i how do you hang up on a discord call <laughs> okay sorry um no yeah we'll we'll work something out i because there's something that you can do that i want and that sounds really weird. Evan, let's fly yeah, it, it, sounds, yeah. it sounds really it's weird when weird. you're playing it's with your button. Mm. It's not weird. Yeah, there's but something you can do when you start unbuttoning your shirt. It's like, <laughs> I'll give you like three grand or whatever oh it god. takes. Oh my god. Oh, okay. You promise? No. or? Well, if you can, yeah, do me a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Anyways, oh. next person. Um, I think Dylan, Rad, Pod, and T-Wag have not gone. So if any of you guys want to go. What was the what question, was question again? Yeah. What? It was just kind of like that... anything that's happened to you that's like cool, oh. annoying, inconvenient, like great, happened, like do you want to share? Uh, I'm wanting to get more into AA, so like I'm probably going to stream that today and shit. Let's go. Um, so that's exciting. AA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just have to move. That's about it. Good. That's good. That's exciting. That's all. Um, AA is fun. Anyone? I have two things. Okay. Um, when I first, when my my school recently ended, I don't even remember exactly when, but it was very recent. And I like the day after, I just did tons of chores. Like I just the whole day, I just drove around everywhere and just did a bunch of stuff, and it felt really good. Um, just Let's a bunch go. of adult good things. Shit. And then I got bored of AA at one point, and then now I'm like very not bored of it for whatever reason, and I don't know why, but I've just been enjoying AA, and it's just been fun. Very good to hear. Yeah. Let's go. I've got uh, something I'm kind of happy with. Not the All self promo, right. but uh, no, go ahead. ESI go ahead. is like halfway, halfway done, and I think people are having fun with it. I think it's gone pretty well so far. I think so. you're doing. I'm um, good job. I am you, you're so, so. Thank you. We, I love your, I love your commentary so much. I love it. It's so. Thank you. <laughs> we tried to do something totally different and fresh, and didn't know if it would fail, but just wanted to kind of keep the tournament scene different. So, uh, people Respect seem to be it. having fun with the seeds. So. So have, you, have you gotten any sponsors yet for the bracket stage? Uh, no. Pound. No checks. Yeah, no checks. Pound, are you willing to sponsor? You were talking to me about that earlier. Yeah, yeah, Pound. What? Yeah, so you now said now that you've started your job, you would be a sponsor. Yeah. That's and you're saying. willing to sponsor for poker? Oh. Like you made like six thousand dollars. Like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, and yeah, I'll sponsor the entire event. I'll sponsor, yeah. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 really? this is definitely happening. Contractually, legally, I'm obligated. It's going to happen. Uh, Not go cool, perfect. What, what is ESI? <laughs> okay. And you've commented um, like four times. It, that, that doesn't mean that he knows I'm what it is. Yeah. He's, built so portals in my, he's built portals in Minecraft before. He still doesn't know what they are. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay. <laughs> um, Pod, do you have anything? Um... 
The only thing for me is that I'm probably starting a second job soon. Oh, let's go. It's kind of like hey, shit. Yes. It's kind of it's kind of shit for like because it's gonna be it's like start, for a startup like they asked me to come do stuff for them so it's gonna be like after hours and take up a little of my spare time. But it's like no, it's pretty cool because it's a startup, so it'd be good to be on the ground floor or something. So, but yeah, that's pretty much all. Epic. Nice. That's kind of big though. That's a bit. That's a big. That's yeah. big news. Yeah, that's huge. Doesn't matter if it's like, you know anything else like it's it's still pretty big news that's crazy sounds like yeah save a lot of money to come to san diego well that's i was trying to buy for about it so i just mentioned it to my wife and maybe we'll see nice. she's nice. looked at flights i just mentioned to it and she's already looked at flights so but it's, that bodes well for me amsterdam's first though you gotta convince that, that surely sure like <laughs> like surely right right she, she was already paranoid about taking time off work in October, which is five months away. She's like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get time off work. I'm like, she works so hard. And it, like, it, on, like on the note, she's a, she's a customer service, uh, customer service manager. So she basically like fully runs, um, a club over here. So she does that. So yeah, when it comes to like people are like inspiration we were talking about before, I was going to answer my wife, but that was like a little bit soppy. And I feel like that's, no, that's what a the good hell? Answer. Good answer. But she, she, she works so hard, and yeah. That's no, that's good. a great moment. Um, I break. I guess I'll go. Okay, I have two things. One is good. Actually, no, I have three things. One is good, and in the past. Oh, sorry. One is bad, and in the past. One is um, amazing, and in the present. And one is in the future, and is very exciting. So, the past thing is that I had a data structures test on Monday. And there was, now, you guys have to understand me. I love t taking tests. If they weren't, like, I enjoy it. I, like, if it's like an interesting test, like not like a memorization, but if it's like a math test, like I, I like, I live for that shit. Like I, I, I enjoy taking math tests. I know you guys are gonna be like, whatever, like bad take, whatever. No, but like, I enjoy myself taking a math test. And like, I see it as like a challenge and like a game. It's like a game that I have to win. Um, and so like, that's just me. But so there was this question on my data structure. It was like generally like pretty easy. It wasn't that hard. Um, but then the teacher said there's going to be a free bonus question on the test. Now I thought it was going to be like, write your name. Cause Feinberg was telling me about how he had some test that he had to like write his name and he yeah, got like 75% credit. You literally can't get lower than a 60% in this class. If you put any writing on the paper at all, it was and like, so, a, it's a 20 question midterm or final. <sighs> Each question's two points. You get one point for trying at all. Like if there's any work, even if it's incorrect, that's it. The first question is like your name. The next three were like, how did you like the class as a whole? How did you like the professor as a whole? How much time did you spend on homework? What could you change or whatever? The next four were like Googleable, basic like concept questions that if you paid attention at all, like true false or whatever. And it was a two day final that you could take home. Then like the eight or so in the middle were like, conceptual coding questions that like you actually need to know what to do and then the last two again were like did you like the teaching style on this course did you like the way we did labs <laughs> so if you if you didn't pay attention in class at all just google the true false put like one line of code for each blank thing it was like 80 like 80 easily God 80 percent so i was hoping like, most when... classes aren't like that okay yeah, i know i know but <laughs> i was hoping when the teacher said oh it's a free bonus question I was hoping that it was gonna be something like that. Like, I, okay, everyone did pretty bad. Like the average on like the last test was like a 70%. So I was like, you know, he's gonna give us a free question. No, he just meant like, he's giving us a really hard question that is free and it doesn't it, it doesn't hurt your grade if you get it wrong. Now, myself being, uh, I don't know, maybe you wanna call it uh, ego, whatever. I was determined to get this fucking question right, okay? And I got it was the last question on the test. I got I went through everything pretty confident I did not normally I like checking my work because that's what you're supposed to do on a test If you have like good test taking strategy you answer everything and then check your work, but I was Hell-bent right I was but no so I was hell-bent I, I finished with like 50 minutes left and I was just hell-bent on getting this question right and for like 45 minutes straight the, the, the for the for people curious it was a hashing question and you had to take we hadn't learned this it was a bonus question that's why but um you have to take that set of numbers so 37 56 48 30 22 <laughs> 14 79 because i was obsessed with it and i i thought about it for like forever um 
So you, you, you take those numbers and then you have to convert 30, you have to use the same algorithm only using like division and like uh, mod and shit. And you have to take um, 37, map it to zero. You have to take 56 and, 56 and map it to one, 48 and map it to two, 30 and map it to three, 22 and map it to four. And the thing is, I got it where it worked but it did not go in order so everyone there's no collisions but it oh my god i got it and then i realized after the test that you had to get them in order and it was actually insane like and i know it's not even that hard of a question for you yeah, but that shit, i've never learned in that. order like 37 huh? goes to zero not like 37 goes to zero, not like yeah. numeric not like 14 goes to zero like you mean in the yeah, 37 goes to zero game. 56 goes to one 48 yeah. goes to two and I, I obsessed over it for like so long. You just, had to, you just had to make a function that would map it? Yeah. Oh, dude, now you're going to get me working on this shit all day. Yeah, I'm literally going to be doing this <laughs> for like the next one. Okay, <laughs> and there's two things you should know. There's two things you should know. One is that um uh it's uh in, in, in computer science, integers round, or like uh, a float will round down to the lowest integer, so it'll yeah. floor it. So even if it's like 1.9 in the computer world, that's like, that's just one. one. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing you should know is like mod function um well well like, also, yeah. that's literally a fucking pre-recorded video i saw the little google trim thing you're <laughs> so dumb about, just like the grab but yeah so anyways <laughs> that's the thing i'm annoyed about i got that question wrong and i'm mad because when i get a question wrong it really bothers me especially when i invest a lot of time like it's pretty I, it's, i'm just oh anyways okay so that's the thing that that's the thing in the past that i'm like annoyed about and the thing that in the present that i'm happy about is semi's here and she's on the podcast and the podcast Aww. is happening and that's good that's a present thing um okay Yay. and now in the future okay i have literally hpg can back this up i've literally been waiting on this we're not waiting on this but waiting to do this oh, for yeah. like Fine. i've been waiting to do this for like six months i got this like six months ago and i have not my fr i was i want i've been waiting with for my friends to do this and they are coming back and they're both going to be in town um and we are finally gonna do this, which is this right here. I'm just gonna, I don't care. I'm just so excited about this. This is the oh, yeah, largest just... Lego set ever built. And it's incredible. It's a Titanic. I'm so excited. I'm nerding out right now. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's, look how big this box is. It's like 10,000 pieces. It's 30 pounds and it's amazing. And I'm so That's excited. Hard. It's so exciting. Anyways, yeah. So that's that's all. That's all. That's yeah. That's the only thing I'm excited about this week. So yeah. Anyways. Um, nice. Uh, so should we? Um, I guess we should probably end it here. Thank you all for being oh, here. Do you have any any final words for anyone? Anyone want to say some final words? Do I? Do I not get to answer the question? Did you actually not go? Oh fuck! I'm actually sorry. Go ahead, Falcon. No, go ahead. No, that's <laughs> no, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we can end next thing. Thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I'll speedrun it, but I'll speedrun it like I speedrun Minecraft, so it won't be that fast. <laughs> <It's really laughs> fun, uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Good, bad, good. Uh, good. Uh, recently, my best friend in the whole wide world uh, invited me to go on a to an amusement park with him in Minneapolis in like late June. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just it's just like a really like we're really close friends and I'm really really happy that he invited me and he thought of me. Uh, he offered to pay for everything. It's gonna go really well. <laughs> okay, Daddy, dude, my you're job. So fucking annoying. So my job your started. Job, like, the... fucked you over, right? Yeah. Well, uh, are they watching? Probably not. <laughs> individually, every one of my job is great people. They're all very kind. Some were down the line. So my job got delayed three times. My job, yes, Sam. My job, um, fucking, the whole time I was applying for it, every single person I interviewed and the job description described one job. And then when I started my first day, they were like, actually, none of that matters. You're going to be doing this completely different job for like the next like three, four months. And then if you do it well, then you'll go into the actual job you applied for. And I hate this like new position. I don't want to give away too many de details, obviously, but like, it's like, like kind of like a support position. That's like customer service type of deal. And it's like they they didn't have room to put me in the position that they interviewed me for, but they didn't tell me over this last like six month interview process that I've been doing. So it's very irritating to have to start a job and then just not be, like do what I actually like am passionate about, what I went to college for four years for. And the third mm -hmm. one, good shit that happened to me. Um, Family Feud, the questionnaire that went out, we got a shit ton of responses. Thank you guys. There's a few people here who left me like self promo in their discord and, and put that survey link in we got like 350 responses it was great um and 
we didn't actually so far we haven't had anyone like leak the questions to the contestants which is great Damn. uh well actually okay i almost someone, leaked the someone almost yeah. leaked the questions yeah I was, I was showing them to mine and i forgot pod was in the call <laughs> and i had them pulled up on screen God uh, so it. i almost leaked them hey pause my team that, though that's good that's good that's good them. yeah and it's something i'm really excited for um and yeah when is it uh sometime when switch gets back and then i'll i'll drag you all together and we'll come up with a day awesome. sorry i'm trying to do the question real quick <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Wait, what? What were the what were the fuck ones you were allowed? Division, modulus. Oh, uh, like... you addition, subtraction, like just basic shit. I don't know. You just can't do hey, like no? uh, if it's thirty-seven, then it equals. You know what yeah, I mean? No, shit like no, that. no if statements. Yeah, no if statements. Okay. I'll tell you the. I can tell the answer too if you want. Have you guys all been doing it? Or like you and Feinberg? I don't yeah, understand. I'm, I'm not yet. Don't, don't, I don't understand how you do yeah. that. I'm a, I finished I'm a business it. major, like yeah. yeah. I used a switch statement instead. Can we hash map? There, no, the whole the point is that you have to make your own yeah. hash function. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Anyways. Um. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to, I guess, end the stream and end the podcast. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Um. We will do another one soon. Um, yeah, we'll do another one very soon. But um, but yeah, without further ado, should we raid someone? I'll let you all help, help me decide on someone to raid. Who should we raid? Oh, who's uh, live? Sam? Oh, Luminous is Illumina's live. Cube is live. Oh, Luminous doing the, 20, like, the uh, old versions, which is pretty cool. Let's okay, read XCC. Let's, let's do that. All right. Um, all right, chat. <laughs> Go spam Illumina's chat. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Um, We'll be back for another one in three weeks, I think. I think I'm going to do every three weeks. That feels good to me. So, so yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Bye chat. And hold, hold. We need to wait for the raid to 